Ben, ba ba ben, ba ba ben, ba ben. Tom, 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 tom. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to War Warhammer time. <gasps> it's Warhammer Wednesday, Tom. Can you believe it? It's it's Wednesday. <laughs> we did it. We did do it. We did it. Oh. Have you been doing any Warhammer? Uh, no. Oh. No. Fair enough. Not even, not even once. Just like Mama warned you. Just, you know, Mumsy warned me. Don't get into that war, Hammer. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't. Have you? Um, kind of. I'm, I mean, I have no pictures, so it didn't happen. Um, but I, I went to my local hobby shop to buy the Dark Angels Codex. Ooh. So I could get all my stuff downgraded. Nice. And some of my units thrown in the bin. Yes. Um... And they, I was going to buy some unit of those new Deathwing Knights as well with the shields. Oh, yeah. And I was holding them both in my hands. And then the guy was like, you know, I've still got one of those um, Deathwing Assault Boxes left. You, can I upsell you? Oh, hello. Like, well, you know, and he was like, I'll give you a discount. Because, you know, you're already spending X, getting Codex and Knights. If you just spend Y more, you get all this extra shit. Wow. I was like, oh, come on then. <sighs> Oh, I twist I, my I, arm. I'm only doing this to support local businesses. That's very, <laughs> very good. Uh, so my, all my Warhammering has been building those Terminators from that, that box. Wow. Which I wasn't going to do, and then I just got tricked into it. How many Terminators have you built? Well, you get 15 in that box, but Ooh. I still had five from the starter set Ooh. going as well. So on my spraying tray... There's 20 Terminators plus four characters. Because you get Belial in that box. I already had the Captain and the Librarian from the starter set. Belial. And then um, I scratch built a, um, a Bannerman out of like spare parts. Ooh. It looks quite cool. Um, so yeah, 20, 24 Terminators. That's Ooh. a lot of boys. How many points is that? Well, they're about 200 points a unit. So 800 points on units and then they're about just under 100 points per character. So it's about just over 1,000, I guess. 1,100, something like that. Give or take. So, uh, yeah, if I'm quick with painting them, um, next time we play, it could be Terminator Wars. Ooh. Try that out. Ooh, I'd be, I'd be into that. Or, I was also thinking, I was going through my um, heresy army, and I realized, you know, we, we were having a conversation about like how many Marines can you fit in an army list. Yeah. And then I thought, well, if you're going to be trying to get 100 Marines in an army list, why not make it an official codex compliant battle company? Okay. Six tactical squads, two assault squads, two devastator squads, a captain, a banner, and a chaplain. Oh, wow. How many is that no. exactly 100 mans? That's exact, well, characters on top. But yeah, it's 100 mans, 100 space mans, and then like four or five characters, depending on how many guys you want. Um, and you can do it. It's about 1,800 points or something like that. Holy shit. Okay. So you just stick like a tank or a dreadnought in there and, and some enhancements and you, you hit 2,000 pretty quickly. Okay, with... that's pretty cool. I'm kind of into that as a... It's a I mean, it's a very fun concept. I mean, sure, in the new era of firstborn marines aren't very good, it would suck. But... Just the cool, uh, right? style style points alone. I'm yeah, kind of, kind of there for it. I'm kind of kind of in. So then I was looking through my Heresy Dark Angels, and I realised I've got I've got eighty five Marines. So actually, all I'd need to do is paint up five more Assault Marines. Okay. And ten more guys to stand around with the Devastators. You know. Help, help, help just, the Boltman. Just, just goons. Okay. <laughs> just goons. And then I can do that. I can wow. Just feel that. Oh, my God. You got to do it. You got to make that, make that a thing. Um, I'm so, into that. So maybe, you know, it depends which one. Is it going to be quicker for me to paint up 24 Terminators or 15 Power Armors? And you'll spin the wheel. Next time we play. Probably 15 it'll... Power Armors, right? That yeah. seems much quicker. quicker. Especially because I spray them black and then they're 90% done. Yeah. <laughs> So much quicker, <laughs> yeah. way easier. Oh, so um, yeah, maybe next time we play, it will be Codex compliant, fourth company attack pattern Delta. Oh, I'm kind of I'm kind of down. That sounds pretty pretty <laughs> silly. Yeah. I'm kind of into it. Wait, but do we need to go up to two K? 
I reckon I could do it 1800 with no bells and whistles. I think Which, we could try 2K. Yeah. We could do that. Um, I've, got, I've got the boys. Uh, but if you bring a lot of plebs, I need to paint like 40 more warriors who are well, at my desk at the moment. I worry that like telling you what's going kind of ruins any effectiveness it may have. But I'd, I know, but I'd bring um, more plebs, more shit. More just fucking goons. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you're not going to bring any anti tank cannons to my 105 Marine Party. Oh, I'd still bring a monolith. <laughs> monolith's fucking cool. And I've got, got one painted now. I do so. like the idea of 100 Marines just going, ah! Fuck! <laughs> but if, they can, if there's a way they can get devastating wounds or. Well, none of them um, would be Stern Guard. They'd all just be, you know, pleb, Or lethal hits or something. It probably is a way to give them lethal hits. Like. I think they could bring it down pretty efficiently. Mm. God, if only characters could jump from squad to squad. Oh my god. Because then as soon as you've killed one unit, the guy's just like, okay, I'll go over here I'm now. I'm going to join these, these boys. <laughs> uh, Maybe there's a strategy on what does it. I'll have to look into it. Uh, or, fuck, I'll just give you a list of everything I've got and you, you can make me a list. <laughs> you choose what you think is a fair. I, I do like the idea of trying to take down a monolith with just Fucking plebs. Just bolt gun boys. I've only got two Devastator squads, but I feel like they die first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I kill them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you'd have a lot of boys. You'd have a lot of boys to do the um, objectives game. Well, that's true. Yeah. God, tactical marines are so bad these days, though. But just style. But style out. But they're so tactical. Oh, they can... What can they do? It's fucking nothing. They used to, before they brought out the codex, have a thing where they could like fall back and shoot. Which I was like, that feels like a tactically flexible space marine thing. That's pretty good. What are they armed with? Is it just 10 guys with bolt guns? Or do they have they a heavy a, weapon? They have a heavy and a special. A... Uh, okay, that's not bad. Yeah, you get like a las cannon, a plasma gun, seven plebs, and a guy with a thunder hammer, I guess. And a combi weapon, because, you why, know... Every, why wouldn't you? Because everything's included now. It sounds pretty, pretty good. Like, you know, a lot, of, a lot of flexibility. There's a lot of shit guns yeah like that army's got a million las cannons i guess yeah i don't have a million las cannons oh i've got what i've got um oh uh, pl plasma cannons I've got five las cannons because i've got oh. a heresy devastator squad oh uh, okay so i guess you'd want to put one of those in every tactical squad rather than having five of them in one squad to get shot at yeah because they would instantly get murdered mm. i think we should do it for fun I'd, Maybe I'd, we should film it. I'd be down. I'd super, super be into it. Yeah, we can recreate the intro to Dawn of War Dark Crusade. Do you remember that? Where they, it starts off with the Blood Ravens just like executing downed Necrons. Oh, play it. Play. We oh, yeah. Find it. We can we watch can, that. We have the technology. Uh, Dawn of War Dark Crusade intro. I was actually play, I was playing some Dark Crusade not that long ago. Oh, really? Yeah, like after we spoke about it on stream. Not on main screen yet. Main screen. Engage. I like how it's all shot from like servo skull perspective. Dawn of War awesome, but I hate that they treat bolt guns like machine guns. Yeah. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh no, they come back! I forgot! Uh oh. <laughs> That's the thing Necrons do! Oh no! Uh oh. Uh oh. What's that coming over the hill? It's a land speeder! Oh fucking <laughs> hell! <laughs> Yeah, Just good fucking luck. Fucking charge the monolith! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, great, yeah, we'll play that. Let's just do that, yeah? Ah, oh, look, and there's our bike, big boy. Yeah, maybe it's helmet cam. I think you're probably right. Uh, I think it could be either. Hmm. Which reckon is the best Warhammer cinematic? Oh, I like the the... Mark of Chaos one. Oh, that one actually looks really good. Because it's not in-game, it's like a full rendered. Yeah, like the uh, CGI. Um, it marks us all. Yeah, that one was really good. Like, it's just like a f 
phenomenally well. Yeah. Well animated, and it mm -hmm. just like kind of does everything that you want. It's a real, real brothers Doomborn scenario. What are you doing here, Elf? You're Get not out part of, of here. this. They go along, just a bunch of boys. And I think it just felt like it really like. It's how I imagine Chaos Warriors to be. Mm. Spoilers. There's Chaos Warriors. <laughs> In the Mark of Chaos animation. <laughs> Yeah, they're... it's the only time you ever see Chaos Warriors look properly spooky. But just these, like, giant, like, fucking badasses. Yeah. Hooray! Bonk. Not a lot of people know this, but that is the Warhammer. The Warhammer. Pow. Ow. <laughs> Card. These guys are getting oh, just just help. Oh, there's some little goblins in goblins. there. Goblins. <laughs> Whereas Warrior Priest kind of fucking doing pretty good. Yeah, no wonder he's all for the Empire. Bonk. Oof. Owie. Wear a helmet. Yeah. Also, like that shot's always amazing. Mm. Like where it just like tracks tracks someone as they fall down. Oh god, he's not going to be in Mark of Chaos 2. Oh. And then being like, sit down, son. God, they're so big. And then a fucking elf just fucking <laughs> elf shit. <laughs> Boo. Boo, <laughs> stupid elf. <laughs> um. And they're like... Do your little prayers. You're not dragging old John Greatsword out of it, are you? What makes this guy so special? Oh, fuck! Crotch. <laughs> <laughs> I love how it's like fading back to the warp. Just so that, like... Looks great. All the Chaos Warriors are like, oh, geez. Oh, this is where it's like, it's Warhammer in time. And then he Warhammers all over that dude. It's Warhammer in time. <laughs> it marks us all. It marks us all. That one. Like, that was one trailer I'd like. Every time I started up that game, I never skipped it. Yeah. So it's good. Such a good fucking video. The game itself was kind of dog shit, but it was just, just a ton of fun. Very much enjoy. God, this one's four minutes. Oh, cause is it like all of the... It was a bunch uh, of different ones, stitched maybe? Together. Yeah, that makes sense. Or is this the one longer one? Oh, it looks like it's all... Because there's the bit where they like have like duels between... Ah, uh, yeah. Like different, uh, different characters. characters. Is it where it starts with like the orc getting catapulted? Somehow I never played the MMO. I... Played uh played it for a bit. This is the dawn of a new but I didn't love it. No. I just never really got into MMOs, to be honest. This is the age of reckoning. He's got three arms. Oh, maybe this is a different one. I just remember there's the uh the one where there's like an orc going why. Yeah. He gets flung over the walls. And, well, he gets, like, flung into the wall. So I did, of course, I played as a fucking... Uh, oh, don't hit the squig. A squig herder. Of course he did. Squigs don't have little arms. This one does. That's cheating. Bonk. <laughs> oh no. Oh, don't burn the squig. Poor squiggles. You mean boy. Amazing. Oh god. So this is what the game was like, right? 
Yeah, yeah, it wasn't just whoopsh, whoopsh, <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> that just your relentless kicking each other in the in the dick that uh, MMO's combat is. Exactly. Like, <laughs> so the Marauder was like a really cool class because they kind of like just mutate endless amounts of weapons. Ooh, uh, that's fun. And it was like a bit like jazzier uh, than the like the Chaos Warrior that you could be. Whoa. <gasps> Bullet time. My hand. <laughs> Ow. Oh no. Getting cold feet. She left her swords behind. You fucked up. You fucked up, kid. Oh, she should do that more. Yeah, that's a really good power. <laughs> yeah. Everyone stop fighting. It's horn, not horn time. See you later. Nice. She totally could have stabbed her there. <laughs> Just leaving. Wow. It's the dwarf having a little drink. <laughs> So the Lord of Change had to honk to make everyone stop fighting because he wanted a dramatic entrance. Honk. <laughs> yeah, like a giant goose. Uh, yeah, bam. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Cool. Uh, so what is new in Warhammer? I don't know. That's what's old in Warhammer. That was posted 15 years ago. Holy guacamole. Feel old yet? Oh, wait. Shit. is that That's the orc video. So let's just... Oh. 40 minutes long. That's not right. Oh, this is Death, of, death a of a Game. This is like a full video essay. Oh. oh I just wanted that orc. Whatever. Uh, so, what is new in Warhammer last week? What's new in Warhammer last week? Well, we've got a new rumor engine. There's uh, antlers. Okay. Feels like elf shit. Or is that upside down and that's hanging from something? Oh. Or is something hanging from it? Mm. Yeah, could be, could be. Okay, mm. cool. I haven't got much to say about that. Um, we've got new solar auxilias who uh, get a little look at the kit. I like the little human-sized power fist. Yeah, I always like, like a man, man power fist. Um, but there's something about it. I don't know. They seem to have a lot. I really used to like the solar auxilia a lot. I like that they looked like they were in like these sort of like uh, steampunk diving suit, space suit yeah, kind of yeah. vibe. But these new plastic kits seem to have lost some of the charm of it. They look a bit too streamlined and clean. Yeah, they're all right. They're all right. He's a little space revolver. Little space gun. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They feel like alternate, like um, Victorian sci-fi space adventurers. Yeah, it does have that, like, you know, uh, 1950s, like, strange science fiction. Hmm. Yeah, chat says it might be the paint job. You might be right. It's a very crisp paint job. I would definitely grunge them up a bit, personally. Hmm. But they're pretty cool. Um, I only brought this up uh, because it's mentioning that um, Rogue Trader Combat Patrol is in this White Dwarf, which I thought was a fun idea. I don't know if they were actually going to release it as a separate box, but there's rules for if you have the Rogue Trader Retinue and the Navy Breaches then um, you just get the full rules for uh, Combat Patrol. Oh, that's, f that's nice. So, you know, you get these guys, the dog. I don't know what else you you'd need more than just this. Well, just like t two boxes of those and uh, one of those. Maybe. I feel like you're missing something still. Because they're only like, they've got to be less than 100 points, right? Oh. I don't know. 
Maybe they have a cool rule. Maybe their spaceship just blasts an enemy unit. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, because like that's that. kind of what they do in... Kill Team. Yeah, mm. like Sky Laser. I wouldn't be surprised if they just bolted something on like that. Yeah, that's fun. More that's uses fun. for kind of fun little retinue models. I think it's pretty good. Um, what else we got? There's a lot of new releases this week. Is there? Is this so? I feel like it's just really stuff fun. that we've seen a thousand times. Oh, those are. It's dice. They're okay. They're all right, aren't they? They're not bad nor good. Yeah, just kind of bland. Hmm. It does get a scatter dice, though. Ooh. Extra fruitiness. Have we seen this guy before? I don't know, but I like him. Yeah, he's like a shaman. So the white scars are like one of those hypocrites who are like, don't use magic. Stormseer's okay. Yeah, but that's not magic, Ben. It's storm power. Just like the space wolves. Don't use magic. Rune priests, okay. They're rune. <laughs> it's different. It's a different thing. Uh, we got Grumpy Boy. Hmm. Hmm. Grumpus. <laughs> kind of, kind of fun. Um. I like the new medics. Yeah, they look ace. They're really cool. They're kind of hench. I like them. And then all the old world stuff's coming out as like separate kits. Oh, okay. Rather than having to get, I didn't even realize they weren't separate kits yet. So that feels kind of bad. If you bought that big box, it's not until like next week that you can actually get more. Oh, uh, okay, so. Well, very nice. Good for them. Mm. You get surprising numbers in the boxes. Like the skeletons, you get um, 36 guys in a box. Okay, weird quantity. 16 for the horsemen. This feels like a lot. But then only three chariots. Oh. How much the 16 horses cost? Same as three chariots. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> They're all roughly the same. We'll have to go to another website to find the... Um, what? I think they had it on Bell of Lost Souls, the prices. Uh... No. I was surprised at how much these cost. It was like 40 quid or something like or more. Surely you um, jest. What the fuck? That's being weird. Pilot of Souls pre-orders. Uh, yeah, I want this one, but from from now. Can you just click on Warhammer 40,000? Let's get the Warhammer 40,000 news. Maybe. It's not, this is it though. It's Old World. Oh. Uh, hmm. Oh my God, why is this so difficult? I saw it like, they just put so many posts up a day. Even though I saw it like yesterday, it's been buried. Here we go. Um, where are we? So, yeah, you can get, 20 Knights of the Realm on foot for 50 quid. And they're nice models, but feels like a lot. And then the old Bretonian Knights gets coming packs 12 mm -hmm. uh, for 37.50, which compared to all their other pricing, doesn't feel insane. That actually feels pretty good. Feels like almost like it, the price it used to be. Yeah, maybe. like 18 pounds for... Just, well, just over for, like, a box? Yeah. Like, sure. You know what? Three pound a night? It's not the end of the that world, is it? seems like a kind of a number, but having to buy two boxes of them. It's weird. Um, 60 pound for the Bone Dragon. I guess he's big. He is but. big. Uh, here we go, yeah. So, what, 36 skellies for 47.50. Which again feels restrained for Games Workshop. Their pricing's kind of all over the shop. Uh, the Cav, 37.50 is for 16. Mm -hmm. And then the Chariots, 37.50 for three. 47.50. Oh, yeah. Shit. So they're £10 more than 16 Cav. What? What? Why are the Chariots so expensive? Grrrr. <laughs> 
They're more than fifteen pound a model. <laughs> like what? <laughs> um, I mean, no one's going to buy these horses because they're absolute garbage in the game. Maybe you want like a small unit, of, a couple of units of five as like yeah. Well, you get three units of five, and then you convert one into a character, right? Mm. But and everyone's going to want lots of chariots because they're the, what Tim Kings are about. Maybe that's their idea. I don't know. Wow. Bonkers. Wild. Three chariots, the same price as 36 skeletons. I think it's more just, just fucking just do a Bretonian Cav army. Like. <laughs> yeah, because you could paint these up as questing knights or ground knights as well. You don't have to get the special pretty, metal models. Pretty easily. Yeah. I mean, I feel like two boxes of that. Get yourself four units of knights for 70 quid. You're, you're nearly good. there, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> and I just add in some shit. Uh, holy moly's. Wow. Weird pricing structure. Yeah, that seems batshit insane. And then they got these metal metal boys coming back. Ah, uh, I always like the um, the Bugulon guy. <laughs> Man is made that, of beetles. Yeah, are these coming out properly or are they... Yeah. Um, Oh shit, man! I might actually pick that guy up. I'd like to make a like a Necron Cryptic out of him. Oh yeah, he'd be perfect for that. Just putting some like more like scarabs and stuff. Mm. On him. Um, yeah, that's an amazing like a, idea. One of those, very cool. Awesome. God, how much does this guy cost? Is it cheaper to buy three of him than a box of chariots? Oh. <laughs> no, he, if, he's not going to be like 15 quid. They're going to charge 27 pounds. But if it turned out that it was more economical, <laughs> fuck. Uh, I don't remember Whip Boy. He must have come out toward the end. Yeah, of I don't remember events. him either. He looks sad. Mm. Oh, I'm not really a mummy. I'm not really a skeleton. I'm not a lich. I'm not a lich. I'm whipping skeletons to make them work harder. I've just got a whip. <laughs> <laughs> My job is pointless. Oh, poor boy. Uh, and then... All the old metals. Well, they're coming in as, as resins. Tomb Scorpion. Tell you what, cool. though, when those were metal, those, so both those kits, Tomb Scorpion and Catapult, were a fucking pig to put together. Oh, jeez, yeah. This guy collapsed under his own weight with um, his spindly little legs and didn't fit in his body. Yeah, I remember just only really seeing those broken. And then this fucking thing was just... Oh, it just collapsed all the time. It was horrible to glue together. So it was resin, actually, much better. And then there's ugly birds, and then some boys. Oh, this guy! <laughs> What's wrong with your old face? Just so fucking bad, my dude. It's not a good model. <laughs> oh. And then all them are coming back, too. Oh, wow, they're even doing... These uh, those guys. are classic and legit nice models. Mm. They but really hold up, but they're ancient. Just get yourself a just any medieval historical miniatures instead. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, Hollow King. Oh, his jar's filling up with bats. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the like you know they're doing like a blood drive like thing. <laughs> right. Every time someone donates some blood, they get to like put some more bat stickers <laughs> and fill up the, uh, right. the like the thermometer. <laughs> uh, and then they were doing third ed codexes as art prints. Oh, nice. I always felt like third ed was one of the worst eras for codex art. Really, I I'm gonna hard disagree with one, which I think that Necron mm -hmm. picture is one of the most iconic. Right. Necron images. Necrons hold up that and exist. Demon Hunters holds up. Those two are both fucking awesome. Uh, also, that Catsham picture is fucking legendary. That's amazing. Maybe it's just the border I don't like. I hate the camo border. Yeah, that doesn't look as good. But the others, maybe not as well. I don't know. Like, that's quite like a. F uh, oh, there's so much better Eldar artwork out there. That's quite like a classic. That space wolf looks like he's broken his arm and his neck. Yeah. The Nids one's quite good. Mm. 
Mm. I don't know. There's a lot of amazing Warhammer art out there. I don't think these are the ones. But that Necron picture. Mm. Timeless. That's like how I picture it. Just like just a couple of monoliths and just endless silhouettes of Necrons against like the smoky green background. Just so cool. Uh, but the Warhammer one's quite good. Pretending one's great. That's really good. The Skaven pick the Skaven one is super mm. good. Love that. They're all good. Apart from that, I don't know. The lizard man's probably the worst one. Well, so that orc, the his proportions are always kind of like weird. Yeah. Like, I always found it really hard to like read. Like yeah. what bits are his body? Mm. Burr. Burr, light. <laughs> uh very nice. What else we got? What else we got? Uh, so, well, these are the things we looked at last week, the uh, Warhammer 3 updates. So there's uh, Frostworm. There's uh, Ro Roboto Angel Archer Man. Giant Robot. There's um, Catbird mm -hmm. and Bird. Bird, Bird, Bird. <laughs> bird, Bird. <laughs> Flamers on discs. Cool. Sound pretty fucking legit. That's fun. And um, this guy. Mm. Nice. Mm. <gasps> centaurs of a siege. It's the centaur update, Tom. They're trying to reel us. Oh, yeah. okay. That just just do every flavor of centaur. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the game was missing. Yeah, I don't know if I want if I need centaurs. Centaurs uh, in this DLC. Probably still not going to buy it. Fair. Uh, read the, what? Someone's saying read the asterisk. Fans of Warhammer Old World should note that there aren't any current plans to bring Kislev or Cathay to the tabletop for the foreseeable future. I feel like they wrote articles about both of those. I feel like one of the first things they highlighted for the Old World was Kislev. Yeah. What the fuck? That was like the number one thing they did. Yeah. And Cathay. I'm pretty sure they did like artwork of like, look at all the cool weapons we've designed. Uh, oh, there. They're literally here. The first article <laughs> was all about <laughs> Warhammer Old World, the Ice World. It's fucking bad. All that happened was they did some concept art for Total War 3 and pretended it was for Old World. Oh. That's what happened now, I think. Oh, shit. And then did a lot of people go like, we fucking hate this. Give us the Old World. They're like, ooh, okay. Fucking, like, oh, let's announce something four years before it's ready with something that's not even going to be in the fucking game. Yeah, but also, Square, like, the... Uh, back here, Square bases and Kislev are centered. Like, the, all of their first news was about Kislev. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Grand <then> Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Why do people think that Cafe and Kislev are going to be in this? It's weird. <laughs> wow. Oh wow! Just fucking bait and switch. Look at these boys. Don't get your hopes up. So I'm fine with those models coming back because they were in the game before, cool. and it isn't just his ice-flavored empire. <laughs> oh my god! It, it's, do you reckon Total War Three not doing great? Put them off. I I hundred percent because no one's got any nostalgia for these two factions. Because they didn't exist. Yeah. Yeah, I really think that is, is the case. Because I'm pretty sure the only reason that they ever were going to do the old world is because of the success of Total War Warhammer 1. Absolutely. Uh, they were like, holy shit, people fucking love this. Oh my God, people if we were selling models we right now, people <laughs> would be buying the toys. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. If, War, if Old World had still been going when Total War came out, I'd have started a new army. Yeah, and so many people that got into Total War games, got into Warhammer mm. because of that. Uh, and so then they were probably developing it the whole time. Just checking the uh, sales. So number one's got 30,000 reviews. That's pretty good. Two probably has more. I feel like two is bigger. Mm. Oh my God. 82,000. So this is coming out. They're like... It's going to take us fucking four years to uh, make this. But we're going to announce it mm. just so everyone 
So everyone gets hype. And yeah, they were probably working on it that whole time. Warhammer 3 comes out and everyone's like, this is shit. We now <laughs> hate the old world. I hate Kislev. Just like Ben, I hate Kislev. I hate Kislev. <laughs> Ugh, and Cathay. I hate Cathay. <laughs> this is the worst thing ever. And so now Games Watch is like, oh, fuck. Look, we done goofed. Let's just bring out those 20-year-old skeletons instead. Yeah. Oh, quick. <laughs> Do we have some old Bretonian model we never released? <laughs> Give it to them. It might make them happy. <laughs> make them forget. Jeez. Like, just super, super bad. Oh, no, still a lot more than reviews, one, but mixed. Mm. I guess the recent ones are mostly positive. <laughs> I wonder if that's what happened. I'd love to know behind the scenes because oh, yeah, clearly geez, was, like, was this just trying to hype up Warhammer Three, or did they really were they really planning it? I think I reckon it's like a bit of a bit of both. I think they're like, well, the last game was so much more successful than the first one, so mm. they're gonna love Three. These are the new factions. Let's tell everyone, like, we're doing them straight away. They're selling factions. People are going to be so into it. And then it came out, and everyone hated them. Wow. And now they're like, those aren't the major factions. <laughs> look at this. They went, like, Old World's coming back. Here's the map. Then they went Kislev, Kislev, Bretonia, Kislev. Um, then Border Princes, then Cathay. They didn't even mention the Empire yeah. until fucking ages. Yeah, like years later. That's not including the ones they've probably deleted. I feel like there was more posts than this. Mm -hmm. You don't think pe people hated the factions, just the campaign? Campaign was bad. Also, I, I wasn't a big fan of either of those factions. No. I've played half a campaign of both. I've never gone back to them. Just... They went too fucking ice, ice and bears. Mm. Uh, it was just like the, the lamest designs. And the cafe faction just felt like such like a... I don't know, it was like... It was just bland. Yeah, it didn't feel Warhammer. With all, uh, yeah, it didn't feel Warhammer. -y. It was kind of just... Just, yeah, I know, just, just like, really uh, generic bit, Five Kingdoms. A bit like Empire, mm. I guess. With some balloons. But they've got balloons. And they, and they all have a yin-yang mechanic. Tessellate your units together. Oh, yeah, I'd forgotten about that. You remember that, that yeah. mechanic? Which Put just, your archers next to your spearmen like you do anyway. It fucking sucks. <laughs> like, just hated just, it. Just micromanage all the, your formations yeah. a lot for a small bonus. Just... It felt yeah. way more like a. It was just purely like a game, game mechanic. Yeah. Nothing to do with theme or idea. Uh, well, that's what happens when you know the entirety of your law is this. This is all like the published Cathay law from Warhammer is a map from the eighties that just says I don't know Cathay or something, right? <laughs> that's it. They never went there. They never did any models. They never wrote any stories. Um. Turns out, people don't care about that. Uh, well, there was some bits, like the Celestial Dragon Monks, but they didn't turn up. Oh, yeah, the only thing ever mentioned. One of the only things that was <laughs> canonical. Yeah. And like, they're like, no. No, we're not doing that. I read the lore in the, the, you know, the big old world book that came out. I got hold of one. Yeah. And I read through the new lore, and it's mostly the same, except um, it mentions... Cathay. So it goes through like, you know, the polar gates collapse, chaos enters the world, everyone gets giga fucked. Mm -hmm. um, and then the slan and the elves do the big um, toilet drain to make all the magic go away. Mm -hmm. um, there's a celestial dragon who lives in Cathay who used his magic to protect the people of Cathay. Whoa. Chaos. That's that's it. That's what we know. That's cool. So um, we don't know what they were doing. We just know that they were protected from chaos and they were fine. Don't worry about it. That's... That's their deep rich law. Wow. A dragon did it. A dragon did it. A magic dragon. A did magic it. dragon did it. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's kind of lame. Yeah. Because it was in the like the Ogre Kingdoms book where because like half the ogres go into the old world, mm -hmm. the other half 
go that are like uh, on the other side, all barrel into cafe and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Um, and so there's a like a little bit of like cafe stuff in that was in the first Ogre Kingdom book, mm -hmm. but on the map where there's like this mountain range, mm -hmm. they have uh, they've built the Great Wall, but it's like on this area here. Okay. Um, to the stop chaos out. the chaos, mm. and it was like that's cool. I like that idea. Boom, having the like the mega the mega wall. Mm -hmm. Love that. But if it's just oh dragon, dragon was like no chaos, <laughs> not on my watch. Much, yeah. And they're like, Bleh. he's like, I'm magic as well. <laughs> they're like, ah, <laughs> oh, we'll go over there. Well, <laughs> get it. We'll see you later. <laughs> There's probably more to it than that, but the book did not go into specifics. I. Guess we'll wait for the fucking Cathay book. Wow. Sad. Mm. And wow. Okay. So what else is there? Uh, tank. Tank. Stub tank. Stubby tank. It's a man with a big telescope. Yeah, I like all these designs. Little Capola guys are fun. The like the fancier Imperial Guard tanks look cool. I like them. They're nice. Pretty, pretty good. Mm. Pretty good. Broken and there's, lance. There's a preview of a new animation. It's been fucking ages since they've done a new animation. Hasn't it? Oh, when's the Starties coming out? Yeah, I when's want the Starties? Starties too. It's been three years. I don't Maybe know. more. A long, a while. I don't know. Um, I haven't watched this yet. I just thought it'd be fun. I like knights. Yeah. It's a cool. Oh, I don't love the music. It's a bit Carnival of Chaos y. Oh, there's a Gigante who's as big as a knight, like we always talk about. Big fan. I'm kind of into the music. It's getting better. Pow! Uh, They're a bit fucking sluggish. Well, I guess they would be, right? I feel like knights should be a, a fair degree more dynamic than just... <laughs> Crunch. And the other one is just like, oh no, <laughs> you punched... Yeah. I know what you mean. I mean, I've, I, I, I'll reserve judgment until the like, whole thing's out. Warlord Titans, maybe, but... Like, it looks better when you speed it up. Yeah, yeah. More dynamic, <laughs> yeah. They really That is really a glancing blow. He just, like, tapped him on the chin. But also, the other guy, he doesn't do anything. He doesn't try and block or... No, he's trying to get his own punch in, but look, he's not quick enough. He's like, I'm going to get you. Oh, no. Yeah, he's got two fucking he melee weapons. Socked me on the jaw. Yeah, he should be bringing the chainsaw up, shouldn't he? And, well, at that time, he got so close that then he starts to wind up. It looks <laughs> awful. I hate it. Wait to see the final thing. I mean, I want to see Gigante. Just getting get his guts ripped out. <laughs> and the guy just walks up and just slowly walks into him, pushing it like, looks fucking silly. Yeah, they're a bit monotonous, aren't they? Maybe the other guy's just a terrible pilot. Could be. If part of the storyline is, oh no, at the Grand Feast, all of the night pilots were poisoned. <laughs> they had hit too all, many roast dinners. <laughs> all we have are newborn babies that could go in. <laughs> Put them in and they go to battle. Sure. If it's a big plot point and that's why all they can just about manage is clanking forwards like this. <laughs> Great. I like this. I like all the zombies tearing down an armature. I don't know how they do it. I feel like there must be a lot of them. Shouldn't be able to. Fuck! <laughs> Just keep firing. <laughs> Just walk away. <laughs> yeah. It's like when a toddler's got his legs wrapped around your ankles. Just keep walking, right? Just, just walk off. <laughs> I'll give it a chance because I do want to see some knights smash each other up. I think the animation looks bad. Yeah, it does a little bit. But it might. Like the models and stuff look great, but. Mm. The movements are quite clunky. Just super, super bland. Disappoint. Was there a knight in Dawn of War 3 intro? I don't know. I didn't really play Dawn of War 3. 
Or was that the one that was just skulls? Want a better animation? Watch Scorch. A new fan film. Uh, Scorch. I remember the knights in Dawn of War 3 being a bit fucking bonkers. Like, kind of the opposite of what you're saying. Oh, kind of opposite of what we just saw. Like, they just kind of beam in and just... Annihilate everything. <laughs> I remember them being a bit more dynamic, but maybe I'm misremembering. Ah, oh, those rockets look ace. <laughs> There's this one, oh, that's it, where he just like rinses everything with um, mega blasters. Like, if you have like 50 orcs in front of it, they all just get like shredded. Even this has got like a bit more, a bit more movement to it, hasn't it? Yeah. But isn't it like the, the, your brain's plugged into the, the magic night chair? Yeah, it's meant to move like you move, right? And you're moving, your body and the night are one. Yeah. It's meant to be like basically as nimble as a person because you've got your brain plugged into it. And you've spent your entire life training to, to pilot it. Ow. <laughs> Pow. But yeah, like, like kind of, you know, having a bit of a dive, like shoulder barging through, like, you know, actually. Yeah. You think also, the, the, I prefer the animation on these because they look like they've got a lot of weight to them. Mm. Uh, They're not just. Just, well, walk forwards and. <laughs> bonk. Yeah, I guess it's easier to animate 15 seconds of cool stuff. I don't know. I think that took significantly more effort and skill than what we saw in that other trailer. The, the, yeah, the one we're looking at. Is, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. This 15 seconds of this probably cost more time and effort oh, than yeah. 10 minutes of what we just watched. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, that, I, that's what I meant. Hmm. Pow! Eat shit! Man, it's a good job they brought two knights. Oof, yeah, otherwise that first one just got cut in half and... And just like, fuck, I'm on the ground! Do you think that's the conversation they had? They were like, look, this, this Eldar knight, it's got higher initiative than we do. Mm. One of us is getting hit before yeah, we yeah. get in there. Yeah, just we flip a coin. You go left, I'll go right. We'll uh, see what happens, hope for the right? Best, brother. <laughs> uh, <Yeah>. Head on in. <laughs> they could probably rebuild that guy, like... Yeah, as long as the pilot lived, he can just plug the legs back in, right? Well, yeah, because he just chopped the waist, and so... That's probably the easiest bit to fix. Yeah, just weld that back together. Let's get new hips put in. Wow. <laughs> yeah, because like the, where the pilot is, is kind of like the top part of the body, right? Hmm. So, absolutely fine. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, we get to, and then that's all the official Warhammer news. Then we get to go outside of the box. Ooh. Uh, what have we got? We've got some human light infantry for Oathmark. Quite fun little like villages. And kind if you need cool. like a militia rabble for your roleplay adventure or whatever. Oh, I like it. Very nice. Uh, we've got some more X-Men's. Ice Boy. Ice Boy and Hand Girl. Is that Kitty Pride? Maybe. Does she have a little dragon friend? No, but she can walk through things. Oh, of course she can. Yeah, that makes sense. And then we've got Return of the Jedi Shatterpoint crew. Amazing. I like Very Bar cool. Bartender uh, RTD2 is fun. Yeah, what a fun boy. That would be a fun scenario to play out. Just having the, the floating skiffs all next to each other and you've got to like, jump between them. Yeah, I'd love that. Uh, oh, Batman the Animated Series. Oh, fuck. They're pretty cool, actually. I bet they're really hard to paint. Because they're so flat and smooth. Painting in like that style. Getting that uh, gradient on there would actually take a fair bit of work. You can't just ink or dry brush that. Yeah. But yeah, they look great. Pretty good. Pretty cool. This is interesting. Warlord Games are doing Aktung Panzer, um, which looks like some kind of tank combat game with the bolt action minis. Okay. But I don't know anything about it. 
Because it's pretty cool. I like the idea of tank combat, but I don't know if the bolt action rules work great for it. Because it's it's an infantry game really with the tanks in support. So maybe if they've done something to like jazz up the tank rules to make tank combat more like engaging. That sounds ace. Like I've always wanted to build the the Kelly's Heroes three Sherman tanks. Mm. Uh, just would be such like a cool little little force. And if you could run that in this game up against the Tiger tank, oh, I'd be ideal, love, wouldn't love it? Love to play that. Mm. Okay. Love to wait and see. Is is this tank crew escaping, or is this guy using that as a human shield? Is he helping his friend? Or is he like, is it a hostage situation? Oh, maybe he is a hostage. I need to see it from a different angle. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Like, is that, because that looks like, a, like America's tanker's gear. But what is that? Like, those that like Russian? dungarees. Like, I don't know. I don't really recognize it. But then Russians and Americans wouldn't be fighting. No idea. Oh, I like that. They've got the Russian flag. Oh, yeah, because they've got no radios. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. Um, Fallout uh, miniatures game is coming out soon. Sweet. Cool. Uh, oh, this guy's kind of fun, isn't he? Like a Dark Angels wizard man. He's a space boy. Space boy. His key on his belt. Perfect. Nice. Or you can have a hat and lightning hands. Wow. They're really nice. If I didn't already have wizard. Uh, just all the all the boys. All right, I've got too many boys already. Oh, Can't no. just get another boy. He doesn't get me up to my hundred mans. <laughs> He's not to bring you closer. So <laughs> yeah. Pass pass on by. Um just a bit weird. We've got some Russian ogrins. Kind of fun. They're pretty rad. I'm into it. Ogre Parade. Got some Samurai Terminators. Okay. Kind of fun. And some uh, more knightly Terminators. Pretty cool too. Okay. Uh, oh. That's Robo hair. Oh, he's a meat boy. He's a meat man with rubber bits. <laughs> We've got Nerd Orc Wrestler. Something you didn't know you needed. I love it. I'm in. <laughs> He's pretty rad. Very funky. And some more wrestlers. We've got Drink Drink Man and the the Mr. Tumnuses. With Derpy Minotaur friend. <laughs> Why are they? I have no idea. I haven't really been following the TT combat like wrestling. What's yeah. called Rumble, Rumble Slam? Yeah. yeah. Don't know. Have fun though. Uh, oh, we forgot to guess. Of course, it's New Zealand and Australian. Wait, truck isn't this mode. what they had last week? This is what they had last week. You Just doubled us. Like Anzacs with a truck. Hmm. These ones have slightly different hats. <laughs> they fucking got us again. Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider RPG. RPG. Does everyone have to fight over who gets to be Lara Croft? Or does no one get to be... Is she sending oh. you on adventures? God, it would suck if you're not Lara Croft, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this feels like a weird... Like, is, is the Tomb Raider world, like, fleshed out enough to have a role-playing game? My guess would be No. I don't know enough about it, but from what I've played, it doesn't feel like there's enough like rich, unique lore for that. Um, hmm. Oh, Dr. Simon Clark, welcome. Thank you for the raid. Howdy. Tell us about rich Tomb Raider lore. Yeah. Like, is there enough to get in there? You play as members of the Truth Seekers, contemporaries of Lara Croft who strive to reveal long-hidden knowledge and thwart those who would steal and exploit artifacts for their own gains in a game of action, exploration, and self-discovery. Face perils, challenges, and tough choices as you learn what it takes to be a hero. I feel like I'd like the premise of this game, yeah. but I think I'd be more into it if it wasn't... If it was just like pulp archaeological adventures. Yeah. 
Because Tomb Raider is already just like a modern knockoff of um, Indiana Jones, right? Yeah. So it's like a copy of a copy. Mm. But with tits. <gasps> but you don't know. You've got to bring your own. You can imagine your own. <laughs> oh, the possibilities are wow. endless. All the polygons you can imagine. Oh, my God. They'll be so pointy. <laughs> Just the way they were meant to. Oh, she could, she's could. she got those, um, those running legs. You could be nice. Like, is it in Kingsman where one of the baddies has like... She has sharpened them up. Yeah, has the blades. Mm. It can chop with them. Uh, very, very cool. Mm. I hope you can take that as a buff. Blade legs. Oh, I don't feel like you should be spending XP on that. You just bring yourself a knife sharpener. No, if it gives you like extra blade leg attack. I just mean you don't have to learn it. You can just sharpen your legs. Well, I guess you have to practice it. Yeah. So is he going to fall over a lot? Probably. <laughs> Probably. Hmm. Well, no time for that because it's Kickstarter roulette time where we have to try and dodge the horny options and Ooh. find the hidden gems inside miniature Kickstarters. Uh, I want Click Lock City. Ooh. Mm. That feels like a good... Oh, there's one for you. Sexy ninjas. No, Tom. No, thank you. Um... God, there's a lot of look horny looking stuff on here. Heating the cauldron. Oh. Uh... Ogre parade. Oh, that sounds... Wait. Oh, no, that's the one we already yeah, saw. That's, that's the Russian literally what we just saw. Right, no, not that. Uh, uh, I kind of want face psalm. Okay. Oh, no. No, bunch of fantasy dudes. <laughs> that might be horny. No, it won't be. It's by <laughs> Skibor and Skibor Jerry. Oh, do okay. Horny shit. Right. Okay. Safe. Oh, uh, I, the first thing I saw of two together was Flying Eye Monster. That was ours. It only counts when I check. Yeah. Or when one of us checks. When the first time we look. Uh, but I'm going to open that just because I want to see it anyway. Here, look, you can have... What do you go for? Oh, you went for mermaids. Was that what you wanted? Mermaids, beautiful creatures. No. Or seduced by fire. It's all horny. Shit. Uh, what no. Charming champions. There's no way that's horny. Probably not. Jeez, it was um like oh how about Grim Path, trading card and fantasy war game, that might be fun. Um, Ooh, what about incredible physical miniatures? <laughs> that makes me think they're very anatomically correct. Show me on the miniature where you touch them. Oh God, I don't want that. <laughs> uh, there's something here that says plus old world. I'm gonna try that. Sure. Where legends stand. And what did chat want? You wanted flying eye monsters. Okay. Okay. Click Lock City. Oh, okay. Generic ruin terrain. Oh, I think I actually saw this. Mm -hmm. Saw a video for it. If it's the thing I'm thinking of. Oh, it all clicks together. But is it where it like flicks out? It's like a flick knife, but it's terrain. What? No, this doesn't look like that. It looks just like Lego terrain. Oh, I'm thinking of something else. I feel like the concept's fun, but in reality, once you've built it, you're never rebuilding it. Probably. I guess if you were playing, like, Necromunda a lot, mm. maybe you would fuck with it a bit. It stores better. Uh, yeah. Actually, can storing terrain can be a big pain in the ass. Pack a fuckload of it up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's probably the biggest plus of it, actually, is the storage. Right. Cool. Bunch of fantasy dudes. Bunch of dudes. Have we seen this before? This feels familiar. Ah, oh, a little dice dwarf. It's got a dice. There's dwarves. 
It will fall on a ball. Humans. Mm. Human on a horse. Evil dwarves. Oh, no. <gasps> centaur. We've got ourselves a centaur. These are nice sculpts. Yeah, I really like the like skill or style. Like I've used used a bunch of his stuff in the past. They do a lot of dwarves. A lot of dwarves. All the dwarves of the rainbow. Very nice. Oh, mermaids. God, even <gasps> that thumbnail has fucking tits out. <laughs> uh, ooh, we've got redirect notices for some of these, so they might oh. be duds. Here we go. Where legends stand. Oh. Of course, it's bases. I thought it was miniatures. What is that theme? Like, miniature train track theme? I guess mine carts? But, like, baby mine, mine cart? Maybe it's a real big base. Oh. I don't know. They're, yeah, they're really small tracks, aren't they? Huh. How big are these? Are they for... I have no idea. Like, the biggest one is, like, 10 by 15. So those are tiny. Well, not even big enough for a knight. Okay. Well, there's some cool designs in here. There's a lot of dead animals. <laughs> yeah. You only want one dead animal in every, like, 8 to 12 bases. The, yeah. Right? Same with the mine carts. Like, everyone stood on the tracks. <laughs> A lot. It's a lot of mine tracks. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. There's too, ma There's too many mine cards. <laughs> it's like someone just spilled their train set on the floor. It's like it's somewhat like your first time trying to build like a, you know, a, a railway system in Minecraft. And you're just <laughs> accidentally like putting them down everywhere. Holy shit! Okay, wild. Ooh. Uh. Like, the conveyors are cool, but it's a lot of conveyor belts. Mm. It's an awful lot. Okay. Cool. Uh, flying Eye Monster. Hey, it's Beholders. You like our Beholder? Middle one's my favorite. Oh. Ah. What's the deal with Beholders? What's their deep rich lore? Where do they come from? What do they want? <laughs> Lasers. Oh. And evil. Oh. Uh, I don't really know. They're nightmares. Are they just monsters or do they like, you know, think? Anything they believe is true. What? Wow. Okay. Breed by having nightmares of each other. Oh. Whoa. This sounds confusing. Okay. Beholders. Cool. Uh, face palm. Okay. Stop. Uh, uh. Oh. Paper terrain. It looks cool. Yeah. I like the style. Like, I've not really seen... really nicely. Oh, Frogmans. Oh, I could do a little, like, um, monotone papercraft Mordheim. That would be pretty fucking cool, That's actually. That's kind of fun. I mean, you'd want to do them on, like, hard cards rather than paper. Yeah. Stop them, like, bending. But this is actually a really fun way to do, like, D&D sort of adventure stuff where you I, don't have the time to do, paint up a whole new encounter every week. And like doing it super stylized rather than mm. trying to make it look really realistic, like playing yeah. into that. I like think it's, it's all sketched on purpose. Yeah, I think that's actually kind of fucking legit. I love this. And the frogs are great. Oh, it's got tits. Horny. Someone hornied. I bet you. <laughs> Just because you're aroused by them. <laughs> Look, none of them even care about the tits, men. They, they just don't wear clothes. That's just the frog way. Stop sexualizing these frogs, men. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, then Grim Path. Trading card and fantasy war game. So I'm not interested in trading card game, but I do want to see fantasy war game. Grim Path. Uh, it's Becca Scott. 
Wow. She does everything. Uh, wow, that's a lot of boxes. It's so many. Like, if you want to put me off of a card game, yeah. show me this many <laughs> cards in one go. I'm and exhausted I, like, at the thought of even opening all of that, let yeah. alone learning how to play. Whew. But look, you can spend so much money. But there's so many more packs to open. Fuck. So it's miniatures and cards? Are you getting random? Random minis as well? Okay. Hmm. Is this fucking the new F Dream Warriors game? Nothing is can be the new Dream Warriors. Tom. What whatever that? <laughs> For Dream Blade. Dream Blade. Is this the new Dream Blade? <laughs> Maybe. I hope so. I've been I've gone so long without Dream Blade. <laughs> I need some more in my life. Uh, I really wanted to see miniatures. I want to see the game in action. No one's painted their fucking miniatures, man. Oh, they're maybe gonna do it. There's one. They're threatening Use to do any it. mini. Ooh. Build any world. Like, if you have, like, different battlefields, like, mm. I feel like you could get me in. I'm an elf. But yeah, I can't, I can't see CG again. Never again. Uh... How's it done? It's like half. Oh. I don't know how long it's been up for. 20 days to go? Yeah, I'll probably oh, get okay. its target if it's only been up for like two days or something. Mm. Feels pretty. Oh, good for them. Pretty good. Uh, so, of those, I kind of think this boy wins. That's my This vote. is my favorite. Absolutely. Yeah. I think that looks fucking rad. I'd love to see a, like a full board of it. Yeah. I think I could get really, really into it. I love the style. I don't normally like um, paper craft, but if you're doing um, yeah, RPGs, you don't have time to build a whole new set of terrain every mm. week. But you can print out and fold out these things. Well, so Forbidden Psalm is a... That, it is like a skirmish game. Oh, right, okay. Uh, but it's based in the Morkborg world, ah. and so you could, could do both. Because um, you could do this for... Uh, what's it called? Um... Long nosed Napoleonic. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah. Is that Turn turnip? Yeah. This would be a great way to like try out turnip without having to spend a million years getting all your stuff together. Yeah, I'd be super, super down. I think this looks, looks rad. Mm. Also, I like that it's just made by lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a really nice style. Looks great. It's great. Love it. Uh,. Have I played the new Power Wash Warhammer DLC yet? No, is it out yet? Uh, yes, came out yesterday. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, fuck. What day is it today? The day after Power Wash came Wednesday. out. Wednesday, it's Wednesday, Warhammer. <laughs> it's the day after Power Wash Day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we might have a video about that coming out pretty soon on Cape Tonight. Really? Mm-hmm. How soon? Uh, this week, within a couple of days, I think. Ooh, should be fun. Oh, so this was one of the other things that was the Sin Eater. Uh, but no, that's going to be very cool. Very rad. Yeah. Stay tuned. Stay tuned to Games Night. What is this? It was one of the other ones I was tempted by, but it was like Sin Eater. Is that, is it horny? Mm. And I just saw the thumbnail and actually like, Pretty fucking wacky boys. Yeah. Apple tree man. Moon boy. Moon villager. Sure. Yeah, if you ever want to do like a midsummer RPG. Oh, <laughs> that's of these. pretty good. Gnome. It's just gnome. He's going to bop anyone horny with his mushroom. Soil wizard. Ooh. Is that like a mole? I guess. Yeah, it looks like a mole. Wow, there they are. I kind of love them. <laughs> They're pretty cool. Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah, they raise the ton. Wow. 
It's not a poop wizard, it's the soil wizard. What if it's night soil? Then it is a poop wizard. <laughs> By nighttime, he's a poop a poop wizard daytime <laughs> you know like just a, basically a gardener <laughs> right and as a special treat tom there's a uh, dice kickstarter roulette wow <laughs> pick one uh i want i want them all all right do as many as you like i'll do two <laughs> what's um I kind of want to look at all of them. Fine. What's Ancient Shadows? Uh, yeah, that was the one that I was kind of, oh. Uh, kind of the most hot for to see what it was like. All the links broke. All the links. What the hell? Uh, roll with a, a click. Roll and write and click. Print and play solo game. Mm. With uh, dice. Uh, yeah, but a lot of things have dice in them. <laughs> sure. Cute artwork. Looks nice. Uh, these look like any dice I've ever seen. Yeah. Mm. Sure. Just different colors of dice. Holographic dice. Again, they're nice, but yeah, I've seen dice before. These ones are sparkly. I've seen sparkly <laughs> dice. <laughs> yeah, fair. Like I need, I need my dice to be mm -hmm. pretty fucking, pretty fucking goofy. Yeah, real interesting. What are these oh. guys? Oh, they've got like pixel hearts on them. Of course, this would do fucking well. <laughs> yeah. uh, these are cute. Yeah. They come in a cartridge box. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd buy these. <laughs> <laughs> they got you. I'd, I'd buy those. <laughs> oh, you can fit your decks and your dice in the cartridge. That's cool. But I really like those D6. Like, yeah. kind of fun. This, this is the kind of thing I'm, I'm into. And yeah, sort of jokes. Nope, Island. Oh. Attack of the Weenies. <laughs> Yeah, I like these. Oh man, just a load of D6. Power. I'd spend 19 bucks on that. Mm. I do like the deck boxes as well. Yeah, they're pretty pretty funky. Oh. Because oh. blue players always say nope. I get no. it. Uh. Blue Island. Oh. <laughs> get it. Uh. Wow, he's stopped. Kickstarter menu's been a real dick he's today, isn't it? He's just being a fucking asshole. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Don't want to look at your menus. Uh, Pyramid Wizard Dice Tower? Pyramids? Pretty. Oh, this isn't dice. Is it? <sighs> Only one dice comes out at a time? I don't know. Mm. So, dice towers. I never really use a dice tower. No, so. nor do I. Kind of takes the fun out of rolling dice. Yeah. Just dice robot. Roll dice for me. Exactly. Like, just use an app at that stage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then just glowy dice. Short. And then it's that, that guy again. Oh. And just some other, other colored mm. dice. Okay, well... Um, pixel dice win. Pixel dice win. Congratulations... You're my favorite. You did it. Well done. One up, Dice. You're the best. Uh, well, amazing. Thank you so much. Um, on that note, we probably should be going on a break, a red hot break, and then we'll be coming back doing some Warhammer and we'll be reading all of your lovely messages. Warhammer? Thank you so very much to everyone who has donated. I love Warhammer. Uh, we will do it. Hooray! Be prepared. See you in five. We'll see you in five. I'm dying. Ban, 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 ban. Tom, 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 tom. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Back. Welcome. Excuse me. 
How you doing? Uh, very good. Very rad. Uh, I hit end turn before I went off to get a drink. And this is the bullshit I've come back to. That looks like an auto-resolve. It sure is, isn't it? I don't want to fight that. That's so many quarrelers. We do have walls. But we've got those terrible bolt throwers behind walls. Uh... We'll just get crossbowed off the walls, won't we? Oh, uh, we could try. Do you want to start with the nice loss? Oh, kill a couple of units and make me feel better. Just a happy loss. Well, we're more, we're less likely to kill stuff. Mm. You're right. Auto resolve does like wipe units it's out. It's more likely just to kill off two units. Maybe it's done. But if we can just do a mm. big long fighting retreat. Yeah, build loads of towers. Plink, plink, plink. Then maybe it works. I reckon uh, the piercing towers, because those AOE towers were shit last time. Oh, wow, they've super split up. Okay. Don't know if that's better or worse for us. Interesting. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to read some lovely messages. Oh, what a lovely, what a lovely thing to do. Um, is this up to date? Yeah, that's good. Uh, Inquisitor Ben Bot's Minion, thank you for donating. You say, Tim and Bon. I know how much you like exciting and interesting minis. So this week, I painted the most generic-looking Dark Angel Space Marine just for you. Insert something funny about Frogman from Skeggy. Oh, praise Frogman. Praise Frogulon. Oh, there you go. It is a basic Dark Angel's boy, but very nicely done. Looks great. Put that in the, in the chattels. There you go. Very crisp, very neat. Good eyes. Good eyes. Good eyes. He looks great. He looks little. What a little boy. I don't like the Marines are little now. Sweet baby boys. Uh, waltzes with bears. Thank you for donating. You say Todrick, Bodrick, your RPG or law PG. Wow. The system. Lasers and Feelings was inspired by the song Lasers and Feelings, which was written in part by someone named Lasers. Or, the folks that made the Fatal System also made a wholesome My Little Pony system. Which one is made up and which one is true? It was written by someone named Lasers. I don't think that was true. Folks that made the Fatal System made a wholesome My Little Pony. Like, I know the official role-playing game of My Little Pony is written by Alessio Carvatore. Exactly. And I'm pretty sure didn't did Mark Humes work on that? I think he did, or at least did like an interview with him or something. I can't remember. He was. I think he. Did, I think Mark connection. did. Or at least he wrote like a campaign or a scenario for it. Like, mm. uh, I was literally looking at the lasers and feelings. Uh, it's not a rule book, it's a single single page. A few days ago, and I can't remember the name of the person, but I'm pretty sure it was a laser. Oh no, but it was made by, not that the RPG was made by Mr. Laser, it's based on a song that was written by... But the second Mr. part, it was written in part by someone named Laser. The song was. Oh. Oh, oh, then in which case, yeah, probably that could be true. But I feel like the fatal one is funnier. I'm going to say lasers. I don't think someone would have made that up. I think it's too weird to think of. Uh, well, they're both quite niche. Mm. Oh my god, the bows are coming in. Oh jeez. The walls, they do nothing! Let's put some towers. Because uh, they take a while to uh, spring up. Well, I'm going to be building towers back here. Oh, okay. Fortress of Doom. Yeah. Catapult. Arrow. Arrow. I think the three o'clock is the best one, personally. This one? Yeah. Because it costs a lot less, and it does rapid-fire armor-piercing arrows. Are you sure? Because the, the catapult towers have like a pew! Oh, I missed. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I like the, I like the sound effect. Pew! This guy at the back might, might come good. How do we feel about Chaos Dwarves in the Old World? 
Cool. I love, love Chaos Dwarves. They got love, a, love a Chaos Dwarf. Oh shit, there's a whole fucking route mm -hmm. that I did not pay attention to. They've got like a radical diesel punk aesthetic. Yeah, big fan. Plus, I'm always a, um, a sucker for armies that are a few elite guys and a horde of chod. Yeah. I think that's a great, great mix. Hey, climbing, run. Hey, actually, could you fight long beards? Well, you're ghosts, so you, unless they've got magical attacks, you're probably fine. You might fight that. Uh, where did I get to? Um, waltzes with bears. What is the answer? Are you in chat right now? Um, by the way, that video I was talking about for Games Night, that's out tomorrow, I just found out. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Be there or be squared. Do you both. Oh, there's a later donor with the answer in. Oh. Uh, Oh, thank you. Thank you. Wait. I don't see it yet. We'll come to it. Uh, Vandlol donated 12 bucks. Thank you very much. Ooh, thank you, Sean. Warden Tom and Grunt Ben. I am working hard on my first custom mothership adventure. Thanks for the video. I am hooked now. Amazing. Also, chump me up. Uh... Are you doing a one-page, a one-page game? Uh, well, the ghosts are pretty sad. The ghosts are pretty sad. Why are they so sad? I don't know. Unfinished business. <laughs> Always unfinished business. Oh, God, there's All no right. point bats in there. Uh, Andreja. Hello! Andrija, you say, hey Tom and Ben. These are the working links to my friend's work that I sent a few weeks ago. Um, head to Vodgobo for Kingdom Death Monster. Well, it's well worth Vodgobbing over. Let's have a look at this link. Instagram all. Uh, ooh! Oh, uh, the Crimson Crocodile. That looks amazing. That's such a nice paint job. That is awesome. Very nice croco beast. And there's another one. Uh, Who's your other boy? Ooh. Oh. Bird friend. The Phoenix. Very that. pretty. Awesome. Ah, oh, you're also doing the Stormlight minis. It's me, Harold Storm. <gasps> And Johnny Light. And Johnny Light. Power, power couple. I wish I'd got a couple of those. I told myself I didn't need them. And I was wrong. I look great. Never too late. It is. It was a Kickstarter that happened like a year ago. Uh, it's fine. Just buy them on eBay for a billion. <laughs> Right, yeah, Lasers and Feelings was inspired by the song of the same name written by the Double Clicks, one of whose name is Lasers. Wow. Wow. Oh, won't you take oh. me to Laser Town? Take you to Laser Town. I think you might have missold me on these towers. Why? Because. Where's one I can. Theory build. They're really easy to spot if you t press tab. Because then you can see the little logo. It's either a wall or a tower. See, so, like, that's Arrow Tower. Mm -hmm. but that is also Arrow Tower. Maybe that, yeah, but it does more, right? 30 and 50 is only a little more. I think it's a fraction higher. Uh, it does 100 missile damage instead of 70, and it does 50 armor piercing instead of 30. But sometimes they're called, like, Pierce Tower. Yeah, maybe different factions have different towers, because 
They were called piercing towers last time I played, not arrow towers. Or maybe it's changed in the update. I don't know. I don't know. But every time I've used the AOE towers, they either miss or hit my own troops. Sad. Sure, makes me cross. Are they just going to cap me out? Yeah, I think it tanks your morale every time they cap one. So they're going to be methodical dwarves about this. Okay, well, good for them. Good for them. Uh, Mr. Polo, thank you for donating. Hello. He say, TMB, please take my dono virginity. Oh. Mm, delicious. Any plans for some Lord of the Ring content on the games channel? Chop me up, praise frog. Ah! Yes. There's already been Lord of the Rings content. Well, we did one. We've had first Lord of the Rings content, yes. What about second Lord of the Rings content? Could never happen. It would never happen, Tom, would it? Except we already did a preview, and it's coming out maybe next week. <laughs> There's a preview on the GameSight channel of it. Um, yeah, it's the next, the next battle report is going to be Lord of the Rings. We're going to continue the saga of Samwise the Ringbearer. It's back on the menu, boys. Mate, it's back on the menu. Ah, man. Is that what they say? Oh, yeah, it's coming. Oh, Lord, she coming. Is it coming? Just walk into my. You've got enough for another tower. My train. If you've got a slot. Uh, slot it up. One on the back? That? Oh, that's. The I've prices already, on that. Oh, you've already built already it. Built right, it. right. That makes sense. Um, you can build a wall that isn't actually a wall. It's like a like a monument that makes everyone near it happy. Really? Hmm. Uh, Walker. Right. Platform. Monument. Monument. Yeah. This gives like a morale buff to everyone nearby. Okay. Oh, I, just, I just never do that stuff. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, smelly Fish Hands Algerian. Thank you for donating. You say, hi, Worm Rider Tom and Worm Food Ben. Fuck me. Oh my god, why? Yeah, 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 yeah. Misbehaving boys. Fucking crap a pulp, Bats, man. get them. <gasps> Keep them busy, bats. Um, I went to see June 2, Worm Harder, yesterday, and I liked it. It was better paced than the first one, although the ending was a bit abrupt. Great shots, great guerrilla warfare. It's fun to see Paul go in, well, you know. Worm sex. Worm sex. Grima worm sex. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for, I think I think I'll enjoy part two more than part one. Yeah. There's a bit more fucking stuff going on in part two, isn't there? If it's true to the book. Yeah, I'll give it. Give it a go. But I have to admit, I'm not like super psyched for it. No. Um, I don't know. I just always feel like June's overrated. Ooh. I've never really got it. I don't, don't let the nerds hear you say that, Ben. I think for its time, it's like probably quite innovative. But it's just so much stuff that has taken that concept and done more with it. Oh. Uh, yeah, I kind of, kind of agree, kind of agree. <laughs> so he's like the bomb. Give it a go. Oh, you Ooh, pricks. They're just so fucking strong, can't they? 
it's so hard to like kill him. I think it's really hard as well to like, like adaptations are hard for lots of reasons. Mm -hmm. But one of the reasons for me is that when you read a book, you have your own idea of it in your head about what, what it is and what, what, what it looks like. Yeah. And it's just really unlikely that the person who makes the adaptation is going to hit Get the Get it exactly on. how you're kind of picturing or... Yeah. yeah like... It is very true like um i really love the um the stormlight archive this book series mm -hmm. and they're they're gonna make a live action version of it in a few years time but like they're already like writing it up and stuff planning it but i'm not excited for it because i like googled like concept art and like fan art and all that kind of stuff and it turns out everyone has interpreted it in a very different way to how I did. Right, okay. And, like, the style everyone else is going for is, like, this sort of, like, super anime look. Oh. That does nothing for me at all. Oh. And so now I'm like, oh, I don't really want to watch the, the anime version of this. Yeah, it feels that. That's not super, super good. Whereas I didn't have that in my head at all when I, when I read it. Hmm. No, oh, no, Praetorian is like, same. Wait, what? No! <laughs> Wait, you love the anime look of it? <sighs> Ow! Oh, fuck! Those skeleton warriors, are we? <laughs> that unit was pretty healthy. Mm. Not anymore. And there's no, you know, no one's wrong. You well, know. no. Like, no, some, some people are. Considering most people interpreted it in the anime style means that's probably the intention, right? Um, so I'm wrong. But, I don't know. Everyone likes different things, I reckon. Oh, yeah, how's Shogun? Shogun came out um, yesterday, and I haven't seen it yet. Oh. I fucking loved the book Shogun. I read oh. it when I was like a teenager. And um, man, I was really hyped when I heard there was going to be this like, big budget HBO adaptation of it. Uh, yeah, I liked that book. I thought it was pretty good. It's good. Chat says it's good. Okay. Amazing. Is it all out or is it week by week? Please don't be week by week. Okay. That's two units dead. First two episodes are out. Oh, fuck. Okay, how, many, wait. how many episodes is it? I might just wait till it's all out. Ten? Uh, I slept through the entire first episode. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> uh, Man, right. I fucking love Shogun. Is it, is it one series for the whole book? Or are they breaking the book up into multiple hmm. se seasons? It's a big book. You probably could do it in a couple of seasons. Well, you could try and squeeze it all into one. Ten episodes. Oh. Okay. I think I'll wait until it lets out. Hmm. 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, but I don't trust Rotten Tomatoes anymore. No, it's got a lot worse. I think people have learned how to game it. Also, isn't it's like 30, 40% owned by Disney? Something like that, yeah. Um, and like when it was like, oh, the new Star Wars. These are fresh. 89% from Rotten Tomatoes. Like, audience score, yeah. like, 12%. <laughs> it's like... Mm. I don't know. Like, it used to be, like, yeah. the go-to place. But Rotten and Tomatoes, also, the whole concept of um, how it works is, you know, you gain a percent if you get a positive review. But, like, a 51% review is, is positive, right? Mm. Or a three out of five stars is a positive. So if you make a film that everyone is like, yes, yeah, all right, then that's going to get a hundred percent. But if you make something divisive, you make you know you you take a big swing at making a piece of art, and a lot of people love it, and a lot of people hate it. That's going to get like a fifty percent Rotten Tomatoes score. Yeah, it's not really an indication of quality; it's an indication of mediocrity. Getting a high Rotten Tomatoes. 
And not the that's not the best way best way to do it. Do you want to watch the blandest thing in the world? <laughs> that's so pretty good, I guess. It's all right. No, I don't want to watch the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to watch this. What the hell? <laughs> oh. I don't know. I mean, it's a it's a rough guide of like, what did most people think? But I wouldn't base my entire decision on that. It's like a starting point. It's a useful starting point. Oh, Nagash has landed in Murathi's stink land. Hooray! Does he have his girlfriend with him? He does. Good. So we're not going to upset anyone. Um, we're going to get stanked on. I did this ritual that gives us an upkeep. Excuse me. I debuff and also spawns a free army. Ooh. But I did it while we were on the water. Oh. And so the new army didn't spawn. <laughs> <laughs> so 20 turns before we can do that one again. Ultimate boat death. <laughs> yeah. Should we do a teleport? God, I wish I knew where these places were. Grey Rock Point, Petrified Forest. Oh, we can go to the Petrified Forest. Sure, let's do a little, a little teleport. There we go. And then, can we go... Can we get up to Quintex? Oh, you can only do it once per turn. Okay. Sense. Yeah, that kind of, kind of works out. They spawned just without boats. Oh. <laughs> or you just raise, like... You're like, I cast the spell, everyone got raised, and there's just people at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> like, <"Whoa." laughs> how do we help? <laughs> um, I forgot what Arkan was doing. Going down to kill Krokgar because he declared war on us again. Did he declare war on us again? Someone declared war on us. Yeah, you're right, he did. Thank you. All like, right. the, like the, it was both the dwarves and Krokgar declared war on us at the end of the last stream. That's After right. both of them were like, Please don't hurt us. I'll give you anything. I'll give you anything. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> they get an army and they're like, nah, let's do round two. <laughs> Just like, oh, God, you jerk offs. Fucking pricks. You know All right, should we go get Thoric with um, Fraggle yeah. Walker? Yeah. I hope he's good enough. Bonk. Oh, oh. wait, we've got the garrison. Yeah, he didn't... Um, he didn't conquer it. He like ra uh, raided it. Oh, dummies! Yeah, let's fight that. Uh, he's marched as well, so he's gonna die. Hooray! Did you just order that? What do you want to fight it? I want to fight him because he it's killed so me many. last time. He's got so many crossbows. That's fine. We've got a garrison force that can go in and get shot. Perfect. They'll love to be shot. <laughs> they don't have names. They don't have names. Uh, yeah, I think that'll be fine. Numi says, "Please let me solo Thorek." Is Numi in this army? I don't think it, any unit we have can solo Thorak. He's no. a stone cold killer. But if you want to die, we well, can arrange that. You can, we could can use you to bog him down. And then... What's, some of these units we've got are kind of wacky. Can we have a look at them? Who's the big rock man? Have we got an orc rock man? Oh, he's got a creepy crypt on his oh, shoulder. Oh, and bones. Tom, press this one. No, maybe you should press the lose magic button. Lose instead. magic. <laughs> uh, actually, it gains magic. <laughs> uh, do not update your mod. <laughs> that was a fun mod to it's a great. That's a great mod. Uh, but unfortunately, <laughs> instantly proven that I know uh. the right button to press. <laughs> Trying to trick me. Your, you bug, your mod is bugged. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? It didn't work. <laughs> uh, right. Who is uh. They're not doing anything too, too fruity. Uh. What's that? Who said that? You. Strigoi Gulking! Ah, he's a little, a little wreath. Aww. Hey, what else have we got? Just like a magic boy, doing magic stuff. Also, this is a bit of a bunkers brigade now, isn't it? Oh, uh, oh that's Numi, the, um, the elite regiment. Glowy I don't, light. I, I appreciate your pep. If you would have been like, you know, the polearm guys, 100% <laughs> would send you in. You get murdered by Thoric. 
Uh, I kind of want to keep you in reserve for a little bit. Yeah, we're attacking them. Unfortunately. That's okay. Like it. Kind of. We can buy some time. Uh, just goofing. Uh, Cobster donates 15 bucks. Thank you very much. Oh, that's very, very, very kind. Cobster. Thank you. And they say, uh, 10, bomb. First time vodka, bow. No, long time vodka, bow. First time donator. Oh, thank you very much. Ben has expressed his distaste in Tomb King Skellies not looking like their awesome art. And I agree. So I decided to convert my own. Would love to know what Ben thinks. I'd love to know what I think, too. What do you think? What do I think? Place them in the chattels. Ooh. They are cool. They're much more slender. They look nice. great. What are they, uh, what did you... Well, those just the regular undead skellies with two pink ah. shields. Are they GW skellies or did you get them from somewhere else? God, they look so much better. Way more Although you've converted yeah. them to put spears in their hands. And the spears look better too. They're actually like proportioned spears. Because the Tomb King spears are like fucking tree trunks. Yeah, like those classic just big, big... Like big foam poles. Um, they look awesome. Tell me, tell me more. Where did, the, where did they come from? Where did they go? They're way cooler. Good job. Maybe they're not here. Hmm. God, the bases look kind of big on them, though, don't they? Yeah, like... I don't love everyone on big bases. Me neither. Works well for some troops and not at all for others. Yeah. Yeah, like, really not a fan of... Like, you know, I want the units to be more tight, tightly packed. Mm. To actually look like that shield wall could stop something. And it isn't just a bunch of boys that near, near you. Yeah, like a little mob. Want to pretend it's an actual regiment? <laughs> oh, those poor birdos. But what can you do? If you want to play the game, you've got to play by the rules. Boo. What I've done for... I, I've ordered some uh, custom MDF movement trays. Yes. But basically all they are is a... Um, it's just a square of um, MDF in the right size for my regiment on the new bases. Oh, okay. And then I'm just going to pack my troops in my small bases into that tray and just have some gaps on the sides. Sure. Like, this is how big my unit is by the rules, but actually they're all packed in on their small bases. Yeah. They look better. I think that kind of works. What a lovely... What is he actually throwing, the uh, cemetery monster? Oh, oh, he's a thrower. I'm just not paying attention to that. Uh, giant skulls? Apparently. Right, is he ripping bits off of him? Picks up a, like a tomb, and it disappeared. Oh, I think it just hit them. They're looking pretty sad. Uh, have I played a game of Old World yet? No, I haven't yet. Actually, I've been a bit busy. I've had a bunch of um, like extra things to record recently. I'd like to. I read the rules. Well, that's half the battle. It's half the battle. But it was like a couple of weeks ago, so for the, now that I haven't played with them, I've forgotten half of them. Oh, shit. Oh, well. You're still, still doing great. Honestly, it's the same fucking game. Just with a few some, minor, some very minor, minor tweaks. tweaks. Yeah. But then I, didn't, I like the old game, so I'm not going to complain too much about that. Uh, Ballastor's great. Doing exactly what I want. 
Okay, right. Numi. Go and kill. Have I read The Initiate Brother? No, I haven't. Initiate Brother? What is The Initiate Brother? Is it a Warhammer or a different thing? Help, Initiate Brother, I'm stuck. What are you doing, Initiate Brother? Initiate Brother? <laughs> what is Initiate Brother? Uh, oh, those poor skellies. They just got fucking lightning. Oh, oof. Well, they summon boys. Ow. Oh, my God. Fraggle Rocker. Killing him so bad. What is it? Those crossbow arrows. Yeah. Fraggle Rocker. Can he heal himself or something? He's got a spell, yeah, right? Yeah, probably. He's, he's about to die. He'll be fine. Look at this. Good Nehek in. Nehek his balls off. Oh, God. Oh, his tanked morale just interrupted his spell cast. Shit. I think you might have miscast. Oh. <laughs> That's oh, what took his so last casting spell. that spell killed him. <laughs> we didn't have to overcharge it. What the fuck? <laughs> just fucking kin immolated himself. That's what, you know, that's what you get. He had a staff of no miscast as well. <laughs> what a turd. <laughs> oh, no. Fraggle Rocker. Fraggle Rocker. Classic Tom Clark era. What the fuck? <laughs> Why would you cast oh, a spell moments on... before victory. <laughs> Why would you cast a spell on half power? <laughs> Who even does that? Right, so it's not full power and overcharged. It's half power <laughs> and full power. It would have been fine if I didn't have any advice. <sighs> you know, one kill. Himself. Himself. <laughs> he did two damage worth of gold. Oh my god, Fraggle Rocker, please. Oh, my sweet boy. God, and Numi, you went in on basically full health. Like, a lot of people were shooting into that combat, trying to yeah. bring Thoric down. But <laughs> By a lot of people, do you mean you? <laughs> I did give the order. <laughs> I did give. He's back. He's back. Don't worry about He's it. He's got He's business right. to finish. <laughs> Nobody died. Oh, even those guys. God, I feel like, oh, God, they got fucking shot to shit. All right, we take a big heal from that one, I think. Oof. Right, well, that's Thoric down. If we can just wipe him out before he respawns. Yeah, I think just blitz through. Just burn burn some places down. Have some fun. A dead man's chest. Ooh. Bring me flesh to craft. He resurrected himself. Yeah. That's the best necromantic, necromantic move you can do, I think. It's pretty, pretty efficient. You dare. He dinged. Uh, heroically average. Uh, the next five bucks. You heroically average. Thank you. And they say, Tom and Ben. Twas my birthday over the weekend, so I treated myself with tickets to see Bill Bailey last night in Sheffield. Great show. Uh, even if one of our tires exploded on the way home. Oh, shit. Uh, question for you and chat. Who's your favorite comedian to go and see? Mm. I used to go to comedy a lot, but I haven't for years now. Not really since lockdown. Yeah, me neither. I don't even know who... I don't, couldn't tell you modern comedians. Every comedian I could name has been doing it for 20 years now. Um, hmm. Bill, Bill Bailey's a classic. Fucking legend. Yeah. So Reginald D. Hunter once, just before lockdown. I quite like funny. Reginald D. Hunter. He's pretty funny. Bill Bailey is, is a funny, funny boy. Do you want to fight skinks and snakes? Skinks and snakes. Wow. Not sure what Manfred wants to do. So we've got a lot of problems around Manfred. We've got dwarves have got a full stack here. Uh -huh. um, Grok's got a full stand here. Uh -huh. And uh, demons have got some full stands as well. Wow. That southern border is... Hot, hot, hot. It's a target-rich environment. We've got Krell and Luther coming down okay. to help, but they are a few turns off just yet. Well, um, Manfred, just do, uh, do your best. Do your best. Um, 
I guess we go hit the dwarves. Next to uh, knock them out, right? Yeah, what is in that dwarf army? Can just remove them from the fight. I have no time for this. Yeah. It's not bad. We're going to have to have a heal anyway. But this is a pretty good army with a million knights. So we're going to get crop guard in the meantime. But we can handle that. And if it comes out of the... Because I don't want to fight the um, garrison. Yeah, for sure. Just but bolt on the way to Soros Warriors. I don't mind him coming out on his own. I'll just stand in the middle. Okay. And wait for um, Fraggle Walker to come down. I'm in. Might as well give him the money house. And the healing house. Okay. Uh, anyone else got movement left? No. Uh, Naren Lord. Thanks, seven bucks. Thank you, Naren Lord. Thank you. I say, hello, Beam and team. Oh. First time I was able to catch up with the VOD since I was at sea. Nearly half the last year. Now back to progestinating. Painting all my models. Uh, I enthusiastically bought. Ooh. A bit of progress to show off. Nice. Is that the opposite of procrastinating? I guess so. Progrestinating. Word bearers. Uh, yeah, have a little oh, link. Oh, they look cool. And you have a little link. Uh, some lovely word bearers. Mm. Very handsome, very pretty. That guy's got a real big face spike. Oh, yeah. That's why you join Chaos. To get a face spike. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't you feel like you'd kind of like have it trimmed? No, because then you've got a really good excuse not to wear a hat. And you'd be like, I would, but... But like every like door frame, it's like, <laughs> ugh, God, it's like wrenching your neck. <sighs> Nightmare. Uh, ooh, reinforcements. But auto resolve, pretty victory. Ooh. Lose most of the army. Oh, so this is Arkan. Shit, I didn't know that there was like a, a reinforcement army nearby. I thought we could take that on its own. I we feel like. We could back up. I think if that kills those armies, I'd take that auto. Like, what are we losing? Mainly plebs? Mainly plebs, yeah. Well, those that? That's the... Um, oh, the OG. Boys. If we retreat, he, reinforcements might not be able to catch us. Close victory. Oh, this oh, is wait, a different this army. Is... This is Manfred getting attacked by the Snack army. Do it. Uh, just auto that. Do it. Unfortunately, we did lose Tom the Cheese Farmer. I'm so sorry, Tom. But we killed a million flying snakes. Yeah. So I take that. I take that all the way to the bank. Who was the best? Lexipi got the most kills, but honestly, all the knights did amazingly. Uh, oh, Solipus. Very good. 1,400 killing. bucks worth of damage. Good job, Solipus. Just hopefully Thoric doesn't come and punch us now. Alfred got a lot of kills too. Okay, that's great. I mean, that's like the Lizardman army on our board are gone. And we only have to lose one guard to do it. Take that. While Arkan's skirmishing on the other front with them. Hopefully he can fight one of those armies at a time and be fine. Oh, Ooh. speak of the devil. Yeah, we're too wounded to fight the dwarves now. Yeah, so that's gonna, a retreat. We're going to have to back off from that. Luckily we weren't so close that they could chase up. Good. Good. Gator! Gator! Gator out of here! Uh. Uh, so, now I'll do next again and continues on to say. Uh, and in case you don't remember me, because I do not donate so regularly, and then I had a massive break. Mm. Remember your peg leg squig, Ben? Mm. That was me! Ah. Uh, I can't remember in what kind of raid I died. I think it was called Starving Colon Sea. <laughs> I remember Naren Lord. Yeah, I remember that name. Welcome back. Welcome back. You probably don't recognize me because of my red arm. Frog. <laughs> that's a good that's a good reference. <laughs> uh Trapo. Uh today's five bucks, need Trapo. They say hello streamer one and hello streamer two. And of course, hello TJ. A question for you. Who wins in the dance competition between Wurzag and Stavros Flatley? 
Oh, who's Stavros Flatley? I don't know. So I'm going to say Wurzak. Yeah, he's the best dancer I know of in that group. Uh, naturally, Ron Weasley will have to fight the winner. <laughs> uh, have a Lawhammer versus your hammer. I bet Ron Weasley could be tricked into entering a dance-off competition. Or do you think because he's a teenage boy, he's too embarrassed to dance? Maybe. Does he... There is the bit where they have, like, the... Like, their, like, magic prom, right? Oh, yeah. He probably sits in the corner and grumps the whole way through. Right? Yeah. He seems hmm. like that kind of guy. I don't want to dance. Ron is a very teenage boy about dancing in the books. Okay, yeah. so he probably didn't do a dance. No. So he'll lose. Exactly. Uh, okay, right. Uh, your orc or law orc? Did the orc once combine all the colors of paint that they know to have special powers, red, blue, green, purple, mm -hmm. and then cover themselves in the mix, thinking that they were now invincible, they went off to challenge their war boss. However, all of the other orcs who watched them do this thought that they just covered themselves in mud uh, as it made brown, and they watched the newly painted orc was instantly crumped by the orc war boss. Or when Orox led by a vision to amass and attack Nagash in their fortress, right as Nagash was performing a grand ritual, seeing the outcome, seeing the oncoming Orox, Nagash sent out their elite guards, which only served to delight the Uruk horde. After the Uruks finished smashing up Nagash's guards, they forgot the reason they came here in the first place after having a good scrap, and they just allowed Nagash to finish the ritual. Uh, I mean, that Age of Sigma one sounds really dumb, and it's probably true. It's probably true, right? They don't tend to make a lot of, like, lore references to purple paint. No, that is real niche and more of a fan thing. So I'm going to say number two. Yeah. But in turn, it's kind of a boring story. Yeah. Orcs I went to a fight, and they had a fight, and then they left because they had fun. It was like, come on, I want there's no poop. <laughs> I need a poopier one. But they forgot to save the world while they were there. Because they're dum dums. But did they. Did they. Uh, but also. Did it matter? Like, Nagash. They, well, that's perfect Age of Sigmar lore, isn't it? Nothing of consequence happened. The, the ritual was mysterious. <laughs> and they are worried that they may feel its effects at some point in the future. Yeah, what its final goal was, we will shall wait and see. Uh, the answer is the Oryx a law hammer. <laughs> During the Age of Sigma, guided by strange visions of fungoid cave shaman, Snazgar, stink mullet. That's a th base your <laughs> law hammer around a guy called Stink Mullet. <laughs> yeah. and instantly, I'm in. That's a more fun. <laughs> that is much more fun. Scores you buried of, the lead. Yeah, that that's how that's the hook. <laughs> yeah. Scores of Uruk war clans charge into Shyesh. Mm -hmm. Battling their way through the undead to the gates of the Nagashizar. gates of Nagashizar. Mm -hmm. A hero fell ritual is gathering pace as Nagash seeks to invert the magical energies of the realms of death. What turn to the realms of life? I don't know. The Iron Suns charging forwards at the forefront of the war are not particularly interested in the greater ramifications of this spell, probably because no one knows what it's going to do. Instead, they find the most memorable scrap against Nagash's elite guard. The Iron Jaws smash many of the Guardians into bony fragments, but they do not prevent Nagash's magical experiments from reaching a deadly crescendo before leaving. Yep. Yes. Sounds about right. It sounds, it sounds, like, a, sounds like a tale. It sounds like an orc thing. And we were right. Most importantly. Most importantly, that's all that matters. Tom and Ben always right. I need a name. We've got some blood beasts joining Arkans army. Blood beasts. Blood beasts. Uh, oh, oh, oh. That could be Vandalol. You're in. 
And oh. lol. Uh, hanky Panky Power Pistol today. It's four bucks. Thank you, Hanky Panky. Thank you. Say greetings, my sons. Greetings. I hope you're having a lovely Warhammer when wetness day. Uh, I finished painting my Halbrecht conversion Ooh. and a couple more Sisters of Battle. Won't you take a look, see? Pretty please. I'd love to Praise take a look Frog. Frog. Frog good. Ooh. That's uh, fun. I like um, Halbrecht's helmet on a Terminator. I have some boys. It's pretty good. Uh, looking pretty rad. Um, I love the Penitent Engines. Yeah, Penitent Engines are awesome. Very cool. Uh, also, the White Sisters, great mm, armor. And the check, uh, the uh, Hazard Strike Chainsaw. Yeah. Very like, cool. These look ace. Look really, really good. Yeah, beautiful. Um, and very nicely based, too. So, win, 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 win. Perfect. Good job. Very nice. Very nifty. Thank you very much. Very good. Thank you for sharing your toys. Very good things. Uh, what's this with bears? Your PG, oh, the Law PG answer. Ladies and Feelings was based on a song. If you've not read up on it already, I recommend not reading up on Fatal. Yes. Super fucked up. Fatal is the, just the worst role playing game mm. of all time. Uh, I have read about it, I and it's not. Where. I do not approve. Uh, it's not. It's not the one. It's not my kind of game. You know, not my mm, type of thing. Yeah, I'll leave that to other people. You know, if that's what you're most hot for. There's certain, you know, measurements aren't worth rolling for. I reckon. <laughs> some things we were not meant to know. Just some things I just don't don't need. Some things I just don't. Uh... I think sometimes when you explain something too much, you know, the mystery is taken out of it. Yeah. <laughs> fair. <laughs> Very fair. Uh, right, what are we going to do with Arcan? Should we, should we charge those lizards? We've basically got a heal and a blood beast added to our army. But basically the same situation as before. Uh, He's taken a, a turn of attrition as well. I'm just a bit scared of all those croco men. Mm. Should we... Mm. It's a lot of crocobin, isn't it? I don't know what else to do. We're kind of trapped on the wrong side of the river here. Look, you've made us run away from the bridge. Huh. Um, I guess we could just walk away from him, and then when he attacks us, run away again, and then um, hopefully he just takes more and more attrition until sure. his army's... Yeah, killed. I guess like it's another round of attrition is probably pretty good. Hmm. You're at the first line of the Wikipedia for Fatal. And Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just don't. Just save yourself. You don't need it in your life. Don't need that energy. No, save yourself. So too late for us. It's too, it's too late. Just don't. Don't even find out. Uh, right. Kemri, Kemri ritual's happening. Okay. Um, oh, we got 15% movement bar because of gifted musicians. All those xylophone playing skeletons. <laughs> Love that. Oh, shit, Crocodile just went off. Oh, he didn't take the bait. Oh, but is his other army going to ambush? Oh, maybe. But look, the attrition's fucking him. Oh, do you want to just like stand on the bridge? Just follow up. When the time is right. Do -do 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 uh, so, Lieutenant King! Do they six bucks? Hey, Lieutenant King. Thank you. Oh, rip bats! Oh. The Zandy's bats finally fell. Good job. You served your purpose. Uh, they say, Tom and Ben, after painting non Necrons, a particular thought has taken root. Why are Necrons, to my knowledge, the only models uh, with much better to pose ball joints? Mm. Uh, also, can you guess which codex I bought these guys for? Do Necrons have ball joints? I don't know, I've not built any of the new Necronians. You tell me, Tom, you've made a million. They, I don't think they really do have ball joints. Maybe the old ones did. Maybe the like, Immortals do? Uh, They've got like, uh, ball and socket joints for the arms, haven't they? No, because the, the Immortals are horrible. 
Do you not remember building some for Lewis? Yeah, they don't line up him. right, do they? Just a nightmare. Too many cables. They do have ball joints. Do they? I guess that's because... Find me a picture of the sprue. Robot skeleton men have ball They're joints. They're sculpted with ball joints. They're not articulated, though. They don't have fucking ball joints. Hmm. They 100% don't. I feel like you're gaslighting me. This is... Did you build easy-to-build ones? I, I built the Necron warrior... Like, are you talking about Necron warriors? Let's have a look. Uh, oh, yeah, look. The shoulder. The shoulder looks like a ball joint. No. They're actually canvas joints. Then they're, they're 100%... They are not ball joints. That is not a ball. No, that's like a, like a wedge. And the other side, there are pegs with like a, a square nub mm. that goes in in like a particular way. Into a square hole. Not a ball. That is not a ball. Mm. Not, well, come back next week for more of ball not, or not, not a ball. ball. They're not balls. They're not <laughs> ball joints. <laughs> I believe you. I've built like 60 of these. <laughs> and they they don't really have a lot of wiggle room. Mm. I just checked the immortals. They seem to have balls. If you're fucking wrong, we're gonna I'm gonna uh, look at this I'm gonna look at this through. <laughs> I will ban you. I will ban you right now. Uh oh, there's a lot there's a lot on the on Ball. the line here. Sprue. Again, it's uh, like a. Also, it's like once a again, the they have like little pointy, pointy fucking nubs. Yeah, they got boxes. It's a box joint. <laughs> <laughs> they have little fucking points that go into a hole, Bannon. <laughs> Don't turn up and be like, "I just checked, and I'm fucking wrong." <laughs> How long did you ban them for? Well, uh, until a mod unbans them. Oh my god. Which is... <laughs> I, I set the stakes. You came in hard. <laughs> Five months sod goal. I'm so good. <laughs> Just... You can unban. You can unban them. <laughs> because also, like, that does look like a ball joint to me. <laughs> the death marks. Yeah, but they said the immortals You're right. specifically. They did say the immortals. They specifically <laughs> said the immortals. Specifically. Uh, oh. Like I built I built these as well, not that long ago. They're not ball joints. I don't think you know what they are. Yeah, these aren't these aren't ball joints, because they go in, they only fit in one way. They don't move or rotate at all. Because also with these, you've got a cable that you have to stick onto that, that has to line up perfectly mm. with a static thing on their backpack, so you can only build them in one fixed position. They are not, it's just not our ball joint. Uh, whereas I think like the- I think the death marks are- Death marks, ones. they've actually got a little bit more wiggle room because they only have a two point of mm. contact. So you've got, well, their gun can be up a bit or down a bit. Mm -hmm. I remember when we helped Lewis build his, he clipped everything out of the sprue without yeah. checking the numbers. And then we had a fun game of which cable and arms combined with which gun to line up properly without having any numbers. Yeah, that was absolute hell. Because we also built like, I think we built like four, two, eight, eight of them. I can't remember how many he'd done in one go. Built a bunch of them. And we're like, okay, we managed to get all of these to line up until we got to the last one. That didn't line up was like, even remotely there close. There is no way this one's ever getting built. <laughs> Fuck it, he just doesn't have a cable. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm not banned anymore. They just got instantly timed out. <laughs> so mean. Respect. I hope a bot does unban them. No, they I, did get unbanned, but timed out. Oh, was it Ben's bot who, was, who got yeah. banned the first time? They were, they were wrong. Well, that's what you get for... Confidently stating... Confidently falsehood. lying <laughs> on, on here with just the wrong info for ball-based crimes. Well, no ball crimes today, please. All right, I've got okay. some ghosts to name. Give me a name. A spooky, a spooky ghost. Uh, that could be LT King. Welcome. 
You're a ghost swarm, LT King. You're going to help us fight dwarves. So right. I'm still undecided on the ball joint situation. <laughs> That's fine. Just don't confidently state falsehoods. Especially saying, I just checked. <laughs> and you're wrong. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell indeed. How dare you. Um... Uh, so, cold one, PJ. Uh, to make six bucks. Thank you, cold one. Thank you. Oh, we've got to look at the link. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, LT King. Oh, we got distracted. We got distracted by... By for reasons. <laughs> reasons got me. Uh, there you go. Uh, so guess what? These are four. Okay, you've got a Yarrick, a Creed, a Color Sergeant Kel. And is that Pass? Pass, Knight Commander Pass. So four special characters that all just got fucking wiped, wiped out, rules-wise. Really unceremoniously. Um, they just said, Yarrick, he died. He died. He's gone. Don't worry dead, about how. Dead off, dead off screen. He's got had multiple stories written about him. He's been around for 30 years. Don't even explain why he's dead. He just died off screen. Don't worry about it. Oh. And as, as you can tell, I'm still a bit salty about that. I guess the other characters are not in... They've not had their 10th codex yet, right? God, haven't. No, but they had their 9th codex, like, just the other day. Here with them. It's dead now. <laughs> That codex was out for like a month before they scrapped the whole So edition. bad. I bought one of those. Yeah, me too. Never played a game with it. No. I'm, I'm still mad yeah. about how Feels. quickly they fucking killed the game after that codex Feels came not, out. Not super, not super chill. No. Uh, so I'm guessing you're doing a guard unit. Or you're uh, making a Trazen's Vault. Ooh. Of people he's captured because mm. Creed is there. Creed is in there, but Creed's got his coat on, so mm. it can't be in Trazen's nope. fault. Or the the coat the coat is propaganda. Oh, uh, oh, Trazen found a new made a new coat. Oh no, I mean the imperial the one his daughter has is oh. a fake fake coat. Oh yeah, that makes more sense. Because <laughs> <laughs> if Trazen wouldn't kidnap him without the coat, that's, that's like true. opening. You know, he's not mint in box anymore. If you had like a Luke Skywalker from 1979 still in box, but the lightsaber was missing, like that's not a collector's piece, is it? Although um, I read a book, it was like a short story, a Trazen, the Infinite story, which was like Trazen's spooky night at the museum, and uh, so like. He likes putting on, like, the show, like, having his displays, but yeah. he doesn't actually care if it's, like, legit. Oh, what? He'll put a fake thing in a camera. Like, so there's a bit where he's like, oh, fuck, like, Tyranids are waking up. Mm -hmm. This is bad. Um, and because he's been working on his big Tyranid display. Okay. And he's like, and for whatever, for whatever reasons, he's not going to be able to resurrect, and he's kind of trapped. And it's all fucking Oric and the Diviner's fault. He's been doing his fucking magic. <laughs> yeah, grumpy old man was. Um, and he's like going around, and he like mm -hmm. wakes up a Admech guy, and is like, "I need your fucking help right now. Why are things going wrong?" Mm -hmm. And the Admech guy's like, "Please stop freezing me. I fucking hate this." <laughs> and then, like, goes to like just opens up some other exhibits, and it's like. The two battle sisters who were sisters, like, doing their last stand, and one's got a flame and one's got a melt gun or whatever. Okay. And he brings them to, like, makes them wake up. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, you know, sisters, like, we saved you during your last stand. And they're like, who the fuck is this? That's not my sister. <laughs> and Trace is like, no! <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> I just found another <laughs> sister of battle and just like cut her hair to look like your sisters. I just stuck you guys in the exhibit instead. <laughs> no one's really going to notice. Everyone, you look the same to us. How much of his museum is fucking bullshit? I think more than you would expect <laughs> right. is like, you know, just putting the complete wrong regiments of guard into like a battle scene. Oh my God. He just likes... They've got the wrong number of buttons on their uniform. Exactly. The complete wrong number of buttons. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Oh. And so you might just have the complete wrong coat. <laughs> yeah. Like, ah, he's famous for a coat. But I think this coat looks cooler. So I've converted my creed. <laughs> so I'm putting him in my display like this. I think Trazen makes up his own law for all of his... Exhibits. Oh, 100%. Yeah. It's all just fucking fan fiction. Pretty, I think there's a lot of that. And then Bran became king. Uh, because he had the <laughs> best story. <laughs> Trace is a war game and not a scale model enthusiast. I think it's a good way to look at it. <laughs> yeah. I think that is a good... Oh my god, it's a whole museum of law hammers. Yeah. It's just Trazen's head cannon for everything. Yeah, pretty much. Now, he likes collecting all the stuff, <laughs> yeah. but doesn't care that much about how... Sometimes uh, the truth gets in the way of a good story, Tom. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, I'm a big, a big fan. Uh, he's using proxies. Oh my god, he totally is. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a conversion. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a simple conversion. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? Right. Um, a oh, yeah, lot of decision. orcs coming up. Yeah, so right? we did the ritual to, in Kemri. Okay. Dur and it made uh, three stacks of orcs spawn. Okay. So we've got uh, Luther and Krell. They were on their way to help Manfred to fight the demons and the dwarves and the lizards. But then they were like, what if we just did our own thing before <laughs> so we helped sure. Manfred? Um, so these are pretty good armies. I thought the ritual armies were a bit weak the last time we did it, so I was like, fine. But this one is giants and ball boys and savage orcs. Okay. Pretty good. This one is savage orcs and idols and trolls. Wow. And uh, this one is also everything. So I feel like we have to just double team one of them, knock it out, and then come back. I feel like a mega siege defense we can probably hold, right? We've got a pretty big garrison. Yeah. Um, I think it's fine. Do mega, mega defense. Do you not want to knock one army out? Before? Ah, let them all come. Oh, okay, let them come. What if they lock door us? Who do you want inside? They wouldn't dare. They absolutely well. I think it'll be fine. Mm. I want to kill one of their armies. I want to kill one of their armies. I hear speak up. Speak up. Ah, Ooh, we almost lost the Blotos. Ooh. Not quite. They might not. Well, no, they will attack, and then it'll just be a really easy auto resolve. Oh, it would be kind of fun to do a mega siege, though, wouldn't it? Found the way. Uh, and so then we got to do Nagash. Should we just pile into the ancient city of Quintex? Uh, what else is around? So they've got like half a stack of normal stuff. Supreme yeah, there's a barrel in there. Some monsters. Is there only one, one stack of ours? Oh, did you have like a half stack out the front? Who seeks oh, yeah. me? Mm. Can we hire a lord? Oh, we can. Can just make Vlad or Niferata to show up, or one of our old buddies, don't forget, or Chandovo. Um, or your, Ace your, Loki. Your choice. Then we could lock door them. Uh, who was it that we hired and fired immediately? Because I feel bad for them. Was that Chandovo? Maybe. We were like, sleep. Sleep. Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, we'll bring Chandovo back. Um, Are we in, coach? Can you move this turn? No, we we'll have to wait a turn. Uh, he's got three dings, though. Uh, so, cold one PJ. Do you six bucks? Any cold one? Thank you. They say Tomsicles and Beanus. Oh. Uh, me watch long time, give offering first time. Mm. Gratitudes for mighty streams. Me play Warhammer tournament first time. Age of Sigmar doubles. Lose every game against 10 year old. Oof. They give us good sport award. Aww. Oh, that's very nice. Uh, here you go. Have a thing. It's like an ace. Did you have fun? Which ones are yours? The lizards? Ooh, they look awesome. Oh, I love the wet mouth. It's <laughs> good wet mouth. Uh, very pretty. Yeah, the lizards look great. Very yeah, nice. I like the plants as well. Plant base looks good. Very, very cool. What are you like, allied with fire slayers or 
Uh, you are against fire slayers and you're allied with corn. I like with corn. Okay, against. That feels wrong for lizards, but gross. Sure, fire, yeah, but it's fire slayers with high elves. Oh, uh, lame. Mm -hmm. yeah, but lovely models, though. Well, well now Chandovo is here. We can um, we can do some recruiting. Like we can give Chandovo like a bunch of stuff, and then Nagash can be like, I make new stuff. Uh, oh, do it. Uh, what else do you want here? Uh, probably not chariots for a siege. You also remember, we're going to be defending this castle. Oh, yeah. Do you want some cave? We can get them at rank 7. No, I think like if we're going to be defending... Because the moment we take this, you want to begin doing the ritual. Yeah, that's true. But anything good takes two turns, but we could get some snake boys. You could always leave some minor gaps or just buy some more archers or something. Mm -hmm. Move more armies into, more units into the other army. And once we're actually in there, then start recruiting uh, yeah, more, yeah. like some of the bigger, bigger boys. That's true. Well, we're not on the clock. We could sit here for two turns before we attack the city. No, for speed. Because I feel like as soon as we take the city, we'll be under a siege immediately. We won't have time to get the units then. We'll have one turn before they attack. Okay, then wait for three turns and get some giants. Okay. Uh, how many? Five? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but we could. Two, two giants. Is there anything wacky in the global recruitment? Uh, they take a lot longer. Hmm. Uh, God, it all does take so much longer. Yeah. Uh, what about some of those Morgasts instead of the stupid snake riders? You like you, I bought the snake building because you said you liked them. <laughs> no, no, I I never said I like the snakes. It was the snake building turns into something cool. Oh, makes the just the snakes probably. Like, what is? Um, where does that go? Let me have a look. Uh, oh yeah, look, we get um, we get knights oh, the and knights scorpions and necrosphinx. Yeah, that's the stuff that I want. Right, okay, we Not get that the stupid snake riders, <laughs> those goofy boys. They're surfing. It's radical. Oh, it just doesn't. It just doesn't work for me. <laughs> it's fair. It's not not my not my vibe. Uh, uh, so jump, Creano. Or no, Trump Creon. Jump Creon. That's how it's pronounced. It says bomb and ten. Mm. I hope you're well. I wanted to send you an update on my towel that I sent a while back. What are your thoughts on transparent bases? Do you base them, or do you leave them? Ooh, I don't love transparent bases because they reflect the light so much. Mm. If you could map them, I that might help. Agree. Uh, I tend to use the stand and put that on like an actual base because technically the flying bases aren't standard base size anymore. That's true. Oh, fuck. Manfred had been yumped by demons. Yes. Oh, well. I mean, we can fight it. We didn't have too shooty an army this time. Mm. Oh, well, they've got some cool Tau. Uh, the Tau looking great. Beautiful yeah. base. Uh, great basing. He's look, not a million miles away from Duncan is painting some yeah, and uh, camo Tau at the moment. And it's like not a million miles from his color scheme. I have to admit, like, all the new crew models are very cool, but they make me worried that we're not getting new crisis suits. Because it's just going to be crew. Uh, oh, this is belly on a fucking ambush. Well, no, it is. Oh. Right, what are we looking at? Zangor! Okay, it's not top notch army then. There's birds, there's a boy. 
Where's Manfred up to? He's also a flying guy. With all the things! <laughs> <gasps> Have we got the Infinity Skelly Tomb? Or is that something different? The Endless Tomb! Hooray! Sure. Oh yeah, you fire away, TJ. Yeah, good night, TJ. Yeah, I always like the look of the tower, but the, the Crisis Suit models don't match the artwork. Hopefully at some point they remake those. Yeah, I don't... I don't hate them. But after seeing, like, uh, Harry's conversions of them recently, I'm like... Mm. Could, could be cooler. Could be way cooler. Sweet after sweet. Wait, what is that? What the fuck is that? Oh, is that just... <laughs> Got scared. <laughs> scared by that bird. <laughs> wow, that's one hell of a shadow. It's very yeah. spooky. But Manfred has got too many abilities. Yeah. Well, you're just going to drain all our mana with purple sun. <laughs> Look, he's even got a button down the bottom to change laws. Oh, fuck. Spells. Menus and menus. Okay, luckily it's not too many. It's not even a good purple sun. Oh. God, it didn't even take their shields off. Oh, bird wars. That's right, Manfred can win Bird Wars, right? Yeah. If you do the hunger, then he heals every time he does damage in melee. Oh my god! Ow! Kakashi Cyan Ow. got frickin' laser beamed. Frickin' laser beam! Fly, you fool. Which one did you want? Uh, oh, I can't remember. There's one, uh, maybe it's a passive. I think he heals from fighting. Oh, we've got three of those um, off-board bombardments. That's handy. What style is it? It's the arrow attack. Pew, 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 pew. You know the arrows from heaven? Okay. Right, They're well, pretty consistent. I think we'll just let them hit, hit our lines. Uh, I think we lost as donated. And they say, hail TMB. Hail. Oh. I'm running a modern Call of Cthulhu campaign based on Shadow Out of Time. And I made my first prop slash puzzle. It's written in English, Korean, and Yithian. Very cool. It took 10 hours to make and solved in one. Okay, that's pretty pretty good. And they have fun. Making a puzzle that takes an hour to solve is actually pretty hard. Yeah. I don't think I could do that. Also, keeping everyone's interest as they do that puzzle. Puzzle's um, like a hard, hard thing to balance, I find, in a game. Yeah. It's really hard to judge people's ability and not make it too easy or too hard. Yeah. And then here's a picture of it. Uh, post that in the chats. <laughs> wow, it's just like a sign that's been had all sorts of scrawlings on it. Oh my god. It's got some maths. Looks very cool. That's all right. Good like. Yeah, that's all right. Do a little. Wow, I do love a good handout in a role-playing game. It's quite immersive. Yeah, for sure. God, it just goes on and on. There's so much of it. Holy shit! Oh my god, that is a lot of. That is a lot of handout. This is the page that would break me. <laughs> yeah, like. Uh... <laughs> Do your players speak speak Korean? They said um, Google Translate is allowed, but how do you type Korean into Google Translate? Yeah, that seems like hard work. No oh, way, this goes wrong. Is the answer time? Well, maybe if there's the Yithians involved, Ben, it could very <laughs> likely be time is the answer. Yeah, I guess modern phones can just point there. Oh, okay. Depends how good your handwriting in Korean is. Yeah, <laughs> shit. Uh, can we kill their boy? God, that fucking bird shadow scares me every time. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, Tom Ben, have you seen the new leaked Skaven sprues? No. I didn't, I hadn't even heard of them. How would we find them? Yeah, hypothetically, if one were to look, where would they be? How would you do it? We could look at that after this. Wow, he's just kicking ass. Just fucking pop all your things. Yeah, do it. Oh, wait, what is this? Just make some choppier. Do it on do yourself. It on Oh, I feel bad for the blue scribes. Getting fucked up by Manfred's balloon horse. I really like the blue scribes. I do too. They're fucking pair of nerds. Look at that like, happy disc. Yeah, just like hovering and farting around. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. I feel bad for them. They just want to write your shit down. Leave them alone. Stop. But like, I think it's those guys where like a portal appears and they get like sucked into it. See you later! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Back to the wall! Are they friends? Are they friends? Let's do it together! Oh shit, Zeech is like, you're fucked up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the thing is, you can always blame Zeech. Yeah. Because it's his plan. Mm hmm. You can be like, well, it's just a bad plan. Not the plan. Yeah, <laughs> not my fault. Oh, I love them even more. I didn't know they did a big cuddle together. Yeah, when they they've died. got like just really good, really good animations. <laughs> you know, really like looked at the blue scribes. Oh, just those guys jerking around. <laughs> <laughs> They're just a pair of fucking gobbo nerds, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, <laughs> but like some of the other an animations, like they just start like slapping each other and fighting, <laughs> and just it's just endless fuckery. I've never played with the Zinch demons actually. I might that might be fun to do a campaign. Uh, bam, bad ambush. Wow, they really fucked up that ambush. I think because we didn't have... Well, they deployed so far away. I guess ambushing in the desert is really hard work. It's hard to pull off. And half their army was shooting. Yeah. So it just meant they were closer to us. Very good. Apparently Zinch loves them enough to always save them. They're his favorite boys. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's nice. I'm happy. Happy that exists. Uh... Oh, hold on, we've got a Skaven Reddit. A new sprue things leaked. Oh, that's good effort. Uh, new, new sprue things. Leak, leak. It looks like some kind of weapons team. Oh, is it like a um, organ gun? It looks like it's got four barrels. Like it's a big toxic pew pewer. Yeah, look, we've got like a big steam engine. And like two pairs of rats. Is it like pulled along on a carriage? Hmm. Let's see. Other. More engines. More rats pushing it. It's got kind of like corpse cart, but with engine with boiler strapped on. This guy's sat. Down. I think those are barrels. Do you? I think they point forward because, like, look at the arm. Oh. I feel like that's horizontal. Oh, you're right. And they're you're pushing. Right. Like so behind, this, and it's this a goes big. goes on the front. I think it's an organ gun or a minigun. Yeah, like a big mega, mega plague spewer. It's pretty cool. Mm. Ball joints, you say? <laughs> I don't see any ball joints. <laughs> I see pegs. Well, but to chat, that's ball joints. Oh, right, of course. If things go together. Do these go? Is, is that <laughs> a ball, ball joint? joint? <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like it's got. Couple of little wheels, couple of big wheels. I can sort of imagine this thing. Looks cool. Looks fun. Mm. Is there anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Okay. So I guess there's probably a new Age of Sigma starter set coming out in the summer that's going to have Skaven in it. Ooh. Maybe they're only going to get that one new thing and a character. Yeah. It'd be a shame. If you could remake any Skaven model. What would it be? Uh, what really needs an update or new unit you'd like? Oh, these guys look great. Uh, giant rats. I want like a, just a sprue of like th 30 just giant rats, like different wacky rats, yeah. maybe with like, you know, the front half and the back half of different bits and you just plug those together and so you can just have all these different combinations there's some wheels there's extra legs there's nice. different heads and so you can have the big swarms of giant rats 
Mm -hmm. uh, like had a clan, Molder, Skaven army, and had lots of giant rats in mine. But a proper big unit. It's not those fucking six giant rats and a guy. <laughs> those fucking asshole I have, units. I, uh, my Skaven army has got a big one block of 30 giant rats mm. and then two units of like six giant rats. Dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Hated those. <laughs> They're probably not allowed. I haven't looked at the new Old World. Um, oh, well. Uh, I forgot what I was going to look for now. The current ones are all right, but you don't get many of them. They come with other stuff. Like, you get them. Yeah, the that's it. Because like, right? putting these on 25s would fucking suck. They'll be so sparse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This unit would look, I mean, it already looks really sparse on 20 mil bases. On 25s, it's going to look like fucking shit. I want proper rat swarm. Oh, Just make a 40 I mil base with like a rats dozen and rat swarms. On it. Amazing. Those are also hideous rat ogres. Oh, they are terrible, aren't like they? Like some of like they, they look, look like He-Man action figures. They literally do. Just so bad. They are terrible. They did some new ones, but they only made two very specific monopoly ones. Isle of Blood. In the Isle of Blood, yeah. Those were great. But there's arm up and double hand. Yeah. And so the style looks way better, but you can't have two very obvious sculpts be the only things you have in your yeah. whole army. Because the moment you have six of these, it looks like shit. Yeah, because I didn't really care for the... Uh, like, when they did the big the big ones with the the minigun arms and yeah, the flame the fists. Like, they were too... The mega rat Mech ogres. and... Yeah. Got, they were a bit over the top. I think the clan rats from that set look great. They're amazing. Those bottles are super good. I don't think these need an update at all. No, and like the on those new sprues, like they look identical to those clan rats. Mm. Yeah, they're keeping that style. But yeah, the new rat ogres and giant rats, but I'd love a big multi-part giant rat sprue. And do like big, big hordes of giant rats. I think it's a cool, cool way to play. It is cool. I'm, I prefer the Clan Sky stuff more personally. Like, I like the big goofy war machines. Oh, yeah. Like, it's super rad. Mm -hmm. um, oh, well, no one died. Good Everyone's job. good. Inform Castine lives to bore another day. Uh, scary Spy Crab. Good scary Spy Crab. Uh, donates 15 bucks. Thank you very much. Are very kind. And they say, Hey, Bomb and Ten. Hey. Oh, shit. Uh, long time Vodgovo. First time watching you live. Mm. Uh, you guys got me into Warhammies. Uh, so I'd like to show my newest model, my slightly Chaos Knight. Ooh. He needs more spikes. He does need more spikes. He does need right. more spikes. But well, not every Chaos Knight has to be like a mega corruption. You More know. spikes! <laughs> Mutant man. Uh, that is oh, that Savage Orcs are coming in one army at a time. Great. <laughs> Fucking idiots. To resolve that, not three stacks. Good job, you, you big dum-dums. What a waste of everyone's time. Uh, well, your night's looking very very pretty, very clean. Got all the, the bits together. Mm. I want to get some like transfers on the shoulder pads or something, just to, like... Add some popper detail. But it looks great. Very, very nifty. Nice toy. I do like the Imperial Heights. That one's a Chaos Knight. I would like a Chaos Knight. What's your favorite, like, knight combo weapons package? I, I like, I do like gun and Gun and melee weapon. Gun and sword. Gun and fist. But the, the fist looks amazing, but the chainsaw looks great. Mm. The chaos chainsaw with like the hook oh. on the end is really cool. Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, like the battle cannon is kind of quite iconic, but the mega minigun. Mm, that looks cool too. Looks really cool. But I've got like a real soft spot for the giant flamethrower. Uh, oh, yeah. The Inferno boy. Mm hmm. They're all pretty good, aren't they? They just all look really good. Uh, I think I like, like all the combos. I think there's even like something to be said for like dual gun knight, dual melee knight. Like it's just they're all they're all pretty. 
And that's all my favourite is. Mm. I like the melee knight, even though he's like the worst one. Okay, he's trying. But it's just, you yeah, know, my giant robot wants to go and punch something. I can respect that. I think like a uh, like giant robot with like two fists <laughs> would be rad. Just going in, just box, box, boxing bot. <laughs> yeah. Like real steel. Exactly, like real steel with just with more dancing. Uh, Crackalacken donates three bucks. Thank you very much. And they say, the orc in the catapult Tom was looking for was in the other trailer for Age of Reckoning. Oh. Uh, they... In the other there were two, and both are amazing. Uh, the man with no name, Dennis A. Bucks, thank you very much. Ooh. Say, greetings, titillating Tom and Booba Ben. Ooh. Quick question. Uh, would you rather have hair for teeth or teeth for hair? No, thank you. Uh, sorry, fish hands is not an option. Uh, jump me up with either something killy or sexy. Oh. Or both. Wink, wink. Cramlo <gasps> comes for us all. The forbidden choice. Uh, teeth for hair doesn't sound great. Hair for teeth. Man, I hate getting beard in my mouth. Mm. Let alone constantly hairy all the time. But could it not be like, can you cheat? And it could be like like keratin, mm. which is the same stuff. Like fingernail. As, well, what's the thing that um, like rhino horns made out of? Isn't that the same as hair? Yeah, but I think hair and fingernails are made out of the same stuff. Right? So And rhino horn too? Suddenly I've got mm. cool... Like tusks, <laughs> right? Does it does it grow back? I don't know. I don't know. I'm <laughs> trying to find a way to make this at least vaguely palatable. Bearable. Whale mm. babies. I don't know if I want whale mouth just pouring buckets of water with krill oh, in, in God. Off your face, just sifting. Bailey doesn't hair chat. Uh oh. Hmm. Like Darth Maul. Okay, if it could be more stylized. Ooh. I was assuming, you know, like a judge's wig, but teeth. <laughs> like human teeth. Like the king of the tooth fairies wears. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> What's this? Oh, lose a boy? Uh. Lose a boy for a decisive victory? That's nice. You want to fight the, the orcs? No, I'm lazy now. Kill that man. I'm sorry. Oh, they came back. Ah, oh, don't even worry about it. See? It? it was the correct decision. D Sandman. How about D Sandman? Oh, Bloto's so close to death. I like that it doesn't just instantly kill you. Yeah, both. it's really nice. You know, it works out if you needed them or not. Zock. Zock dead. Okay, we did it. We protected Kemri in the ritual. Was not a complicated fight. Oh, at all. Did it. Oh, this fucking, fucking demon nerds coming in here. Get out of it. If I bold, do the teeth grow over the bold bit, or am I still bold with tooth hair? I guess, like, if. Oh, oh God, but there's yeah, the teeth you, you, fall out of your head. You could pray for boldness, couldn't you? And then it's not a problem anymore. Oh, but it's going to leave. Holes. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not happy about any of it. To be honest, it's kind of gross. If I can be have Darth Maul head, sure. Mm. Why not? Maybe that works. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, CJ the Swede. Oh, I don't think six bucks. Thank you, CJ the Swede. Thank you. I say bonk and tonk. Greetings to thee. If you have a favorite space marine, who is he and why? Mm. Mine is Mr. Fisto. Uh, otherwise known as Daddy Fisto. Mephisto. Uh, anyway, here's some models I painted. You probably have a million fucking favorite space marines, right? I, I like know. this one because he's noble and brave and his tactics are strong. That's the thing. 
very few space marines have any personality at all. You know? Um, oh. oh no, your link is too long for us to post in YouTube. Oh no. But it can be done in Twitter. Uh, Twitter? What, what's actually an interesting thing a space marine's done? Um, there we go. Maybe that, maybe that works now. Rylanor. He's a cool boy. Let's go with him. Is he the Dreadnought? Yeah. He's the Dreadnought who sat on a virus bomb for 5,000 years. Okay, that's Just pretty to good. punk full grim. Uh, oh, your boy's like Ace. Ooh, uh, Morton, yeah. Morton looks really cool. I love the purple. Yeah, he looks great. Nicely done. And like a big boy. I really want to build one of those great and clean ones. That model is just really nice. Mm, it's classic. Guys, we don't know it was 10,000 years. We don't know what year that event happened. We know it was after the heresy. Oh, actually, it was, was 10,000 years. Like, you don't know that. It doesn't say. It's just at some point between the year 30,000 and 40,000. So I split the difference. Like, you don't, it didn't say on, in the year 40,000 that's when it happened. It's like an in-between story. One million nights. Is that what they say in the... Uh... Yeah, I've waited here for a million nights. But that I assume that was just poetic license. Like, how many days is a million divided by what? Uh, three, 365? 365. Well, there you go. 2,700 years, you fucking nerds. But... <laughs> Way less than 10,000. <laughs> but that's assuming that they have uh, the same day-night cycle oh, on that true. planet. Yeah, that planet might have 40-hour nights. Yeah. Might have 100-year nights. Might be always night. He might have waited there for infinity. Might, might be on the dark side of the planet. Oh, my God. Or <laughs> it's so fast that the sky is just a strobe. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it was actually just like 45 minutes. Yeah, it's like, actually, I've not been here all that long. The uh, planet's just spinning real fast. Yeah. <laughs> you, just, you just don't know. Uh, so, it's the round three time cycle unknown. Okay, we'll find that out. Yeah. So, like I say, you don't fucking know how long, so don't um actually me. There's no way of knowing how long it was. Also, real lucky. Like, that's a real, like, like, providence that it was on the millionth night. <laughs> yeah. That's when the big thing happened. Oh, the warp works in mysterious ways, Tom. Yeah, wow. <laughs> very, very good. Oh. Uh, who are other space marines? I like Magnus Kraglar, king of the space marines. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. He's got the gauntlets of Ultraman. He's got Ultraman's gauntlets. He sits on his toilet throne. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Got a little Tyranid dog. He's got a little <laughs> <laughs> uh One of those guys. Pretty rad. Uh, who are other good? I like Araman. He's fun. He's, I like that he spent 10,000 years trying to break into a library. He's like just a cool wizard. Sure. But he, he done fucked up. Wish he's He's got something about him. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He's got, a, he's, he's got a vibe. He's more than just, I, I stab the Xenos. <laughs> I kill Xenos. I purge and I hate. Uh, uh, who else has any personality at all? Uh, who are on, who are on Black Hearts fun? Okay, he's kind of like a bit cool. I ain't paying your taxes, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> start my own little empire. See ya. <laughs> like, that's a fun vibe. Uh, Tycho. Is Tycho the guy with I the shield and hammer? Tycho died, didn't he? He's um, the gold blood angel man with the melter gun. Oh, who am I thinking of? I'm thinking of the... I'm pretty sure he died, didn't he? In the lore? First oh, that's was, Lysander. First he was this guy, and then he was this guy, and then he got the Black Rage and was this guy, and then he died. I'm pretty sure that's, that's his story. Angry. Which, to be fair, is a better story than most Space Marines have. That's on Caldor Drago. He's a Grey Knight. Grey Knight's the same as Space Marines. Yeah, they are Space Marines. They're just, you know... 
Are they space marines? They have a gene seed in them. They wear power armor. I think they are. I think they count. Are they? Uh, I'm pretty sure they are. I agree, they're space marines. Oh, fuck's sake. Get off images. Uh, yeah, they're warp charged space marines. Explains Scott from the design studio. Yes, Scott said so. <laughs> you don't agree? <laughs> I don't know. But also, but that's like just saying like, oh, space marines, they're just, they are just humans. <laughs> but, you know, genetically modified. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But these guys being empirically charged space marines, you're, you're going up a level. <laughs> right. Do you see? See oh, what look, I mean? Grey Knights are a secret and mysterious chapter of Space Marines. Secret and mysterious. Yeah, but the fucking fandom wiki. Oh, that this is count. Where's Lexicanum? Lexica if Lexicanum says it, <laughs> I completely believe it. But the, the fandom wiki is... It is garbage. Absolute fucking nonsense. Uh... They are Space Marines. Boom, first line. There we go. Who's to argue with Lexicanum? I, I completely believe it. Cool. But what's their wait? What's their source on that? What is their? Oh my god! Like they're just so fucking good at cracking <laughs> their sources on everything they put in. Codex Demon Hunters Third Edition. Great. Perfect. That's like the first time they Sorry. had a proper codex. Mm -hmm. But that is so old; it might be wrong. Oh. Like how far back? The older a law is, the less likely it is to be true, right? I believe it's old. And that's that's I had that codex, <laughs> so I believe it, Ben. I'm in. Perfect. Although, just ignore any War of the Beast law because it's nonsense. But that's a bit like saying, you know, ignore the Cyphus Cain law. Like, it's like, <laughs> well, yeah, I do. It's it, you know, it, it, sure, it's there, but it's uh, not the not the strongest canon. Very good. Yeah, they are the 666th chapter of Space Marines. Which, do you think they were like... Were there 665 before? Were they just wait? Were they waiting? Were they just like, can, can you just make like three more chapters? Because I've got a really cool idea. I've got a really <laughs> sweet one. And they're like, yeah, fuck it. We'll just make some of those dumb ones. Yeah, the, 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 those weird dragon ones with the spurs. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Do uh, throw the Howling Griffins in, whatever. Yeah. So just do some wacky color schemes. Do the um, the the Mega Marines and the Super Marines. Mm -hmm. and we'll do them blue. Great. Yeah. <laughs> they're just ultramarine offshoot. <laughs> so they yeah. definitely exist. And then we. Uh, uh. What's that? There's only 532 Ooh. named Space Marines. Wow. Well, that's cool. You wouldn't. You need to have room for all the homebrews. That's true. Well, it only it doesn't leave a lot of space. Who's the four twentieth founding? Who's the sixty ninth founding? Who is the six? <laughs> that's got to be like a <laughs> Emperor's Children offshoot. <laughs> I'm gonna check. How do we? How do we check that? S just Space Marine chapter. Oh, I already clicked chapter. on second founding. Oh, oh, that makes more sense. I want to know the... Ooh, official Space Marine chapters. Why is it being so crap and slow? I don't know. Sometimes the internet kind of like poops out at this sort of time. Uh, oh, we need oh. a list. We need a proper list of like the, or the number. To only mention it for the cool ones. Probably. Jesus. It's a lot of fucking space marines. Hmm. I don't I don't, I don't think, think we can find, find this, can we? I don't think it's going to exist. Boo. Missed opportunity. Oh well. Wah. Mm. 
Uh, Final Boss Jelly. That's 30 bucks. Thank you very much, oh, wow. Final Boss Jelly. Thank you. I say, hey, TMB, just swinging through because D&D calls. Uh, but I've been loving the there and back again journey of Jelly, only for her to immediately sail back across the sea with Papa Nagash. Mm. Truly world-weary. Uh, looking forward to D&D on Mystery Quest. Hashtag Kremlo. Uh, there's no short-term plans for D&D. At some point, maybe. But maybe. Maybe. Uh, but I did pick up, did manage to get hold of a copy of the starter set. The Mines of Fandelva. Because I do want to run it at some point. Uh, but it might be... Uh, it's a, be a way off. A separate thing. But yeah, I have like a bunch of other stuff like planned, planned coming out before that. But one day. Mm. Uh, Grok wants peace. Wee. Mm -mm. You had your chance, Grok. Oh, well, it's come right at us. Do you want to fight some lizards? Hooray! Hooray! Nobody died! Davidson Street and Radagast DM. They've got unfinished business. Who did the best? Wow, Krokart only got 80 kills. Jesus, Detail did the best. How? No, he didn't. Wow, look at that. Shady Tree. Jeez. Shit. Shady Tree and LT King have just got muskets, but they racked up like a shit ton of kills. What was Krokart doing? Don't know. Excellent work. Mm. Uh, don't not forget. Uh, Denise, 12 bucks. You don't not forget. Don't not forget. Said Ben, Tom. What? This week I bring knowledge. Part one. For Tom. Dusk City Outlaws, DCO, had a Kickstarter for the physical version of what's on drive through RPG. Mm -hmm. The physical is no longer in print, and so you can just use the digital version to make printouts of the player stuff. If that isn't good enough, Mark Humes had a physical copy on stream five years ago, and Trot had one four years ago with the Neon Supplement, so perhaps you can say, please, to them. Don't say that. Huh? Uh, you are right. You need Dusk City Outlaws as the base for Neon as it adjusts it to Cyberpunk. I expect it, so. Uh, they continue on. Also donating 12 bucks each time. He's like, wow, very much. thank you. Uh, the system has different jobs of different lengths. Two game days with four people should fit into three to four real hours. Funeral job fits that spec. Uh, it and more jobs are at the back of the judge's rule book. Mm. And for Ben, a reminder that sounding is a thing. Enjoy. Oh, why? Uh, well, I'll have a chat with those sweet boys. I know that Dusk City Outlaws box was on the shelf in the office for a long time. It was, yeah. I know um, Mark's actually having to clear out some of his old board games and stuff. Oh, really? So, I'll uh, give him a poke in the eye. Yeah, be jab like, him. Hey, hey, I'll do that again. Unless hey. you give me. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God. Decisive victory. These poor boys. Oh, no. We lost a Bloto. Oh. Gone. Dante Rhino. He got 12, 12 kills. <laughs> it's a sad day for an exploded Bloto. Why have we got... We've got Tic-Tac-Toe helping because he hates um, demons too. And we're not at war with him. Okay. So, the enemy of my demons is my friend. Okay. We are we're making progress now. Very nice. Uh, but thank you for filling me in on that. Uh, it's moved up a few places in the the plans then. Mm. Uh, that sounds very good. Let me just make sure I write a note. Now, I don't think Fraggle Rocker can kill a full dwarf stack on his own, can he? What's he got? God, not all of those stacks. Oh, uh, we can probably camp them out. Should we wait for Manfred? Wars in the... Wars in the army? Stop that! Quite good stuff. Wars in our army. Sorry, I'm just clicking around. 
not super top tier. I wonder, could we? I just feel like I wouldn't mind a really fucking horrible fight at no some point. Oh, okay. But uh, it's probably better for them to come to us. Are they... They are attritioning. Yeah, we'll I guess another... Tank another attrition. Another turn of that if, if probably help. We can bring Memphred over from yes. here. Although we've got Fate Weaver. Yeah, get him to deal with... Not you. Mm. Although I don't care if we lose Karl Sabar. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I would just like to wipe the dwarves out, you know, before they build more, more boys. Now is not that time. Mm. We'll wait a turn. We can wait one turn. It's fine. Oh, uh, Jack Staruni. Uh, you said you donated an hour and a half ago. We don't know how far behind we are. Just always a million, a million miles behind. Um, we get a bit chatty at points. Yeah, well, because we don't read anything for the first like hour and a half, it always puts us way behind. Uh, but we'll jump ahead just for this because it's relevant to what we are doing. I was just checking through. It says hello, chaps. I own a set of Dusk City Outlaws. Hey. I live in the UK. Uh, if it were feasible, um, I'd be happy to lend it to you for a little bit, though I couldn't part with it forever. Mm. Uh, I'd love to see uh, you play it on games night. Also, chop me up. Mm. Uh, we will try and chop you up. That is very kind. Uh, well, let me uh, poke around and see if I can find um, find one in our circles uh, to begin with. Uh, it's very, very kind offer. Mm. I'm sure someone's, someone's still got one. Right, Kairos has put himself in a city. Which oh. means Krell and Luther can surround him and destroy him. Suck it, bird. Eat. Oof. Best white is Fee Fi Fo Momoto. Very good. Good job. And, uh, wow, guns, pretty good. Normally not great ooh. in a city attack. No, heroically average. Pew, pew, pew. So the ghosts were terrible. Mm, well, demons. Oh, yeah. Fairness. Very fair. Uh, uh, Fragger Walker. Do it's 30 bucks? Thank you very much, Fragger Walker. Mm, thank we you. didn't let you die earlier. <laughs> you resurrected. It's a TMB. It's your favorite geriatric, geriatric janitor. Hooray! Let's see what kind of magic my janky army can bring today. Uh, if you get me killed, just try to make sure it's done in the most ridiculous way possible. Hopefully so bad it crashes the game and crops the save. Wow. Wow. What a uh, way to go. Well, I think bl blowing yourself up with a miscast is pretty good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we're about to send you in again. So, um, oh, God. It's all right. Feet. Uh, we'll wait for Manfred or sit in, your, sit in your town for get the garrison to help. Maybe sit in the town. What have we got here? Uh, not much, Manfred. <laughs> yeah. Time to fight some dwarves. Can you get any cool regiments of renown into that army? Is it a stack? Still stack. I'll be all powerful. And um, regiments of renown are all deployed. Oh. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Help us on the way. Have a hard time. But meanwhile, Chandovo's army needs a naming. Um, and then we're going to um, attack the, the Dark Elves. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, don't not forget. Perfect. More. Uh, is CJ the Swede. Uh, I'm playing Funny Mouse Wheel, so it's kind of just a bit random where it comes from. Naran Lord, you're in. Uh, Mr. Polo. Mm -hmm. uh, and waltzes with bears. 
And scary spy crab. And Joe, uh, I'm going to go a little bit ahead on from where we've read. If I put your name in, this, this was just Joe. Oh, just Joe. Just Joe. Okay. And Necron Doom Guy. Okay. And that's that. But then we've got Nagash's new units, uh, which will involve. Four units of knights. Uh, the man with no name. Okay. I think we're lost. That makes He's sense, nice. considering you're up in Nagaroth. Yeah. Uh, cold one PJ. Mm -hmm. And uh, half blood. Okay, then four more gas. Drills, MD. Nice. Ice, Otty. Nice. Uh, jump, Creon. Welcome aboard. Uh, sensory deprivation toilet. In got a Scorpinox. Uh, Lil Chunkier. And then two Bone Giants. Uh, there could be a final boss jelly. Uh, and uh, then Dresden, 42. Welcome aboard! Right then, so Nagash can lay siege, declare war on Morathi, she's strength rank 9. I think not. Um, then we'll continue the siege, and we'll get old Chandovo. Oh, they don't actually, I, I don't need to lock, lock the door. Oh. They already wandered off, whoever they were. Uh, do you want to do a Dark Elf siege? Nah. Hang on, they do have reinforcements nearby. Where are they hiding? They just oh, they're inside Nagash's skirt. Oh yeah, <laughs> don't hide under Nagash's skirt. That's cheating. Oh god. Um, I'll just do the auto resolve. We lose one unit. <laughs> oh no, it's because he's in. Oh, okay, that's why. <laughs> Get Chandova. Oof. Yeah, you better do good. Do you know how expensive those chariots are that you're riding? <laughs> they ain't cheap. Oof. Oof. Right, killed a dark elf. Well done. Chandova. Ooh, Chandova's got a war sphinx. Ooh, that's a lot more fun. Yeah, that's about as much as three chariots. Yeah, <laughs> holy shit. Right, then Nagash kicks. Oh, now we're going to lose more guys? What? What to the fuck? I'll put the banner in. That should solve everything. No, somehow that didn't work. I don't want to lose two units, but we can, I suppose. I think we would, would lose... Well, maybe lose more. I don't know. Do you want... Is the... Oh, one of them came back. Oh, that's nice, great. Heroically it's average. Out. Got ripped. Oh, my God. We nearly lost a little chunker as well. Oh, my God. But the Morgeist... Very wow. Jump free on. Very killy. Somehow more kills than Nagash. <laughs> We've got 12. <laughs> so. Crunch. Occupy. Okay. Can you just instantly begin? Can I just recruit that unit back? Uh, oh, is there something sillier? Because we're going to be here for a bunch of turns. Oh, that's true. Because we actually have to research. I forgot we have to do the whole research. Oh, it takes two turns. Uh, you want something silly? So we probably have three turns before we get attacked, right? Yeah, that's true. Um, What's the silliest thing available? 
glowing ghouls? Do it. <laughs> snake flavor? Snakes. Do it, snakes. Which flavor? Halberds or no halberds? Um, oh, I don't know. Surprise. It's fucking surprise me. <laughs> Not the snakes! Uh, half blood. Uh, the next six bucks eat half blood. They say Tom and Ben. Hello. Loving the stream oh. and making some progress on the Necrons. Ooh. Just a quick question. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you use to fill any leftover gaps on models? Mm. Uh, also, what do you think of adjusting the Mefret scheme with the Hierotech Hierofic Circle Green? I don't know what those are. Uh, is the Mefret scheme the like turquoise one? Should we Google that? Or is that the red one? I don't. I I honestly don't know the color of any of the Necron. Uh, orange. What, what, like green heads and shoulders with orange guns? Is that, is that the vibe? Although, oh yeah, okay. And what do they say? With the Hierotech Circle one. The Hierotech Circle is the turquoise one, right? Oh, okay, so just basically these guys with orange. No, maybe not. Um, how do you spell that? Hero Tech Circle. Isn't that the kill team? Yeah. Oh, okay, so these guys are like dark green. So that's the more turquoise one. Okay. Uh, so basically what you're saying is paint these guys with orange guns or paint these guys with sort of green armor. I think just whatever you think looks coolest. Yeah. Um, you can't go wrong, really. Don't worry about sticking to canon. Just do whatever you like the look of. And, yeah, I have no idea what the different Necron faction colors are. No. And I have a Necron army. <laughs> <laughs> and I've looked at that book a bunch, but just... None of them are particularly iconic, are they? Do you know what I mean? They just, like, Necrons with different colors on. Yeah, like the only difference I really know between them is like some of them use more destroyers or some of them have a lot of flay, flayed ones. Mm. I There's nothing wrong with any of the different color schemes. Like if you like the orange, go for it. But you just I really like... Oh, there's like the damaged, green, the broken boys. Chloe green on Necrons I think just looks really good. And I would always do my Necrons with glowy green. And then whatever color you do, the armor's up to you. When um, when I was planning mine, I was so tempted. I saw this person painting like this, mm. like grim dark, like red necrons, and I was like, I just want to copy that. It does look good. I was like, it's just it's such a good look. But then was like, the green is just so fucking iconic. Yeah, it does look good, but I still prefer the green. And I think it goes back to that artwork we were talking about before. Um, like this, this artwork is just, it is, this is what Necrons is. That's how I imagine them. You know, it's that green fog with green lightning zappers and green eyes. Like, yeah. It's just something about it. It says, you know, interstellar undead. Legion space robots. Space robots. Yeah, like like that. Really fucking cool. But honestly, go with whatever you think looks coolest because they're your toys and you're going to be looking at them. Mmm. Pew pew pew. Pew pew. Love that guy. <laughs> what a boy. Doctor Glocktopus. <laughs> yeah. Great, great lad. Great line. Um, what do we use to fill in gaps? I use, I've got this stuff, um, what's it called? It's called Skill, uh, and he doesn't leave gaps. We just glue, glue gooder. Just, uh, um, what's it actually called? Uh, it's not this. Um, Is it the liquid, liquid green stuff? <laughs> no, I hate liquid green stuff. Really? Um, it's basically, oh, fuck, I cannot remember what it's called. Alas, I'm skillless. Um, Don't worry about it. Oh, here it is. That's it. 
Perfect plastic putty. Perfect plastic putty. I don't use it very often, but when I need it, it's really, really handy. Um, so it's like a tube of toothpaste. It's this metal, metal tube, and you squeeze out the toothpaste, and it's, it's like um, almost as soft as toothpaste mm -hmm. when you put it on. And you just put it into the cracks, and then within about 10 minutes, it's like uh, nearly solid. And in an hour, it's like as solid as plastic, and you can file it and cut it and stuff. Um, but it, it molds so easily. Uh, you can fill in any cracks completely, and you can just smooth it off with your finger or a brush, mm. and it comes away while it's still, before it's set, it's so easy to remove. Um, it's really good. I don't know why, for some reason, it's like just annoyed me that mm. they've written H2O rather than water on that <laughs> bottle. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure why it's upset me. Yeah, there you go. Fills cavity, deep, fills deep cavities. That's the sounds. And you get, like, it's six quid or seven quid, depending where you buy it from. And you get, like, I've not even used half of mine, and Ooh. I've had it for five years. Like, it wow. never runs out. Obviously, it depends how much you use it. <laughs> how many cracks you're leaving. Yeah. How big those cracks are. <laughs> exactly. But I'm only using very small amounts. I mean, have they got anyone like using it? Wow, they've really splodged shitloads of it on. You don't need to use that much at all. And then you can just wipe your finger down it. Ooh. And you're done. It's all removed apart from what's actually in the crack. Okay. It's way better than liquid green stuff. Oh my God, they're being very careful about it. You don't need to be that careful. <laughs> just scrape it off with a knife when you're done. Okay, there's a real Goldilocks affair of like, they're using too much. <laughs> they're you being too precise. <laughs> just don't think, just think that's overdoing it, but you know, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. What do you use? Uh, it depends on what I'm doing. If it's something that I uh, don't care, mm. fuck it, fuck just leave the crack. The crack. <laughs> yeah. Uh, some things it's just really obvious. You know, if it's going to be a smooth flat panel and you've left a gap, then that sucks. But if it's like a crack in a detailed area, then it's. I think if it's something where I am genuinely going to be bothered about that crack, mm. I will take more time building the kit and try and avoid ever having a crack in the first place. Yeah, build with uh, it. Fair. Or, well, usually just use some green stuff. Just green stuff worms, if you really need to deal with something like that. But that works. Uh, I haven't found that that's been a big problem for a while. Mm. Yeah, and honestly, a bit of super glue will go over any small cracks. That'd be good enough. God, I've been leveling up Nagash. Um. Is there a world? I don't know if we need to. Like, do we have dead territories that we could potentially trade to Morathi to just go to peace with us right just now? Just make her chill. I don't know if we have to hold this. Like, once we've done the ritual, can we just fuck it off? But it's just so, like, she doesn't suddenly have, like, eight armies just yeah. converge. Not that she even has those. I mean, there's not that many territories. But is there like just some pleb land up there that we're like, hey, take three of these. Well, yeah, we could give a Xandri. I don't want to give the Black Tower of Arcan because that's got Arcan's name on it. But what are the ones further along? Like these ones, oh, Kofa yeah. and Virus. Well, let's give it the whole coast of Arabe. Okay, Al Halik, Kofa and Firas. I am bidden not to destroy you. Consider yourself lucky. Uh, oh, you oh. only give them neighboring territory. Okay, what is the ancient city of Quintex? That's the one we need. Oh. Uh, we can give her 16 grand to fuck off. It, we probably don't even need to pay. We're probably fine. I just thought if we had some, like, duds. I mean, we've got 52 grand. Keep it. Because we're running, running hot right now. Yeah, we are. I oh, don't know. We, we were running hot. We were, yeah. Something changed. Oh, is it that now that we have that city? Is that oh. earning us like four grand or something? That can't be that good. So I feel like we were like two two grand in the hole. Maybe like, we've got a thing where bit. Nagashi's arm. Oh, uh, it's, no, it's like oh wow, four hundred. What? Why? God, it does a whole wall of fucking text. <laughs> um, 
Wow. Oh, maybe do hold on to it. Okay. Sure. But if it's 3400 if we pay her that money, hmm. in like four turns, we'll this has paid that off, and then we just leave, yeah. uh, employ a new butler, yeah. who just keeps the peace, and Patient then that just is like a free three grand a turn, and yeah. just build any How utility buildings and walls that you can there. Amazing. Done. I think that... That feels like an investment. I like it. Mm. Uh, Joe! Uh, Donates 15 bucks. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> Kairos is going to give us 10 grand <laughs> to stop fighting the demons. Please! You killed my scribes! I mean, you still have one of our territories, my dude. Keep but fighting. I don't really want to fight him. But then he hasn't got any armies to worry about, so... Yeah. Fuck off. Uh, so, Joe says, Martin Neb, mm. thank you for the stream. Well, thank you for watching, Joe. You're so welcome, Joe. So welcome. And Isotti. It's 15 bucks, he? Isotti. They say, greetings, Tom and Ben. I've been watching you guys for years. And I wanted to finally donate and show off some tiny toys. Mm. Uh, you singing the praises of Epic... Uh, gave me the itch to pick it up. Uh, so here is the start of my first 3D printed Iron Warriors army. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, tiny toys are the best toys. Tiny toys are the best toys. Uh, oh, they look great. You've done plates. Epic Scale Hazard Stripes are always big respect. Uh, they look amazing. Mm. Very cool. Oh, I love it. And based. Based. Purple base. Which I'm kind of. Peep the little guy on the Warhound's base. Uh, oh, yeah. Can I get a zoom on the Warhound? There. Just a little guy. Just the guy hanging out. So, like, the hazard stripes on the shoulder pads of mm. Epic Scale Space Marines. Amazing. Impressive. These guys are really cool. Oh, they look awesome. That's a this lovely guy. little force. Something's happening. What is? Um, Wurzag has invaded. The dwarves have just like ignored him. Wurzag was on like one territory last time we fought him. Why didn't the dwarves finish him off? We got nothing up here. Can we pay him? <laughs> yeah, Wurzag, we're uh, we're playing peace hammer today. Yeah. Nope. Uh, can you give him a territory? <laughs> Give him fucking three. Hang on. Which territories do you want him to have? Phoenix crown. Look, you can finish the set. You can have Stormhenge and Galbaraz. I'm the prophet. If I don't like your words, I'll blast you with my spells. Galbaraz. Okay. Oh, you can only do one at a time. Oh, you can only do one. Oh. Apparently. Try Galbaraz first. What? That's weird. Is Galbaraz the main one? Yeah. But nowhere near. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that only takes like two points off. This is why we just have to wipe people out. Because yeah, you're right. Oh, it's so like, annoying. I'll give you anything for peace, and then they build one stack, and they're like, War it is then! I yeah. tricked you! And it's like, you don't stand a chance. Why are you making me mop yeah. your shit click, up? Click buttons. All right, I'll kind of get in there next turn. Uh, Fraggle Rocker. Right, the dwarves are on their last territory. Nice. Kill them. Oh. Uh, Dresden. Uh, donate 69 bucks. Nice. Wow, Dresden, thank you very much. Uh, they say sex number Tom and flex number Ben. Uh, I'm prepping a Call of Cthulhu game for my friends. Uh, last session... They fled town after blowing up a distillery using infected water. But they want to go back to finish things. Mm. Could go all hot fuzz for the finale. Thoughts? <laughs> oh, yeah, holy shit. If everyone who's been drinking that water is a, a wacky cultist. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Uh, just go in all guns blazing. Just make sure 
They've loaded their car with dynamite. <laughs> it's a good fun way to have a big blowout at the end. Yeah. If you, you can reward them for not being murder hobos the whole way through. By being like, actually, everyone was a monster. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well done for behaving yourselves. Yeah, that sounds great. Love what other unfinished business they have there? I think having some kind of monstrosity in the basement. Uh, are they out of territories now? Yeah, that's the dwarves have one stack and nothing else. Okay. And Mountbred right. and Fraggle Rooker have got their house. We'll run them down next turn. There's nice. Thing that makes us move quicker next turn, so they can't get away from us. You. Uh, right, Krell and Luther. Um, kill lizards, I guess. Just wipe these guys out next. Yeah. Yeah, because they're never going to be chill. Nope. Ooh. 500 free bucks. <laughs> nice. Uh, Necron Doom Guy uh, has donated as well. Uh, you know, 10 bucks, thank you very much. Thank you. It's a tea and bean. Mm. Long time vodgobo. First time donor. Ooh. I've been doing Warhammer for 15 years, but painting for eight. Oh. Uh, here's a link to a Necron Lord I painted up just a few weeks ago. Next to one I painted eight years ago. Oh, that's fun. Plus, Kremlo was here. Uh, they will serve. Here, have some linkies. Linky poops. Same enough. Tom and Ben have checked out Moonbreaker on Steam. I, I've never heard uh, of Moonbreaker. That's that turn-based game where you can paint the miniatures. Oh, that one. I've not checked it out. No, I haven't checked it out either. I just, to be honest, I didn't. I didn't love the idea of it being an online miniatures game. Like I, I like to play an online turn-based strategy game, and I like to play a real-life miniatures game. Yeah, they separate. I don't need to cross those streams. Separate the worlds. Uh, your Necron's looking real, real rad. Because you can really see the difference in the paint paint style. Wow, yeah. But I love that you kind of committed to the same same paint job on the same <laughs> yeah. same model. God, like, they do look worlds apart. Yeah, so much better. Good improvement. Like, real, real snazzy. Very handsome boy. Oh, you've got a oh, lovely... Imperial Bastion. Oh. oh. Robote Gorillaman. For like the Forge World. The, yeah. uh, like marble. Of it looks one. amazing. Yeah, that's really good marble. Very cool. <gasps> Someone's done a graffito. What the hell? It's a Scalamander. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> amazing. Oh. Very good stuff. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, that marble's great. I've never tried marble. I've always been too scared. Yeah, me too. Me too. Scary. Uh, drills, MD. Then it's three bucks that you drills. Thank you. And they say, you asked about Beholder Law, so here it is. Oh, God. Don't make me regret asking questions. They are narcissistic and paranoid schemers who think everyone is out to get them, especially other Beholders. One secretly runs a city from the shadows in D&D law. Uh, chum me up, and thanks for the laughs. Mm. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I can believe that. Which one is that? Noll, Noll's dues or something. Is he the one? What? Is he the guy? El Xanathar. I know that name. He's a beholder. Ah. I see. Is there beauty in his eye? Yes. Yes. It should be. That's all I know <laughs> about beholders. He writes guides for everything. Oh, there is a book based on him with his picture on the cover. How can he write anything? He's a fucking eyeball. Fucking like, you know, magic hand is like a level one spell. Like that's like a cantrip or something. <laughs> oh, okay, sweet. Just do a do a magic hand. I think. One eye has a pen in it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Why not? Mage hand. That's that's what it's called. 
One of the eyes shoots a telekinesis beam. His fish keeps dying, so his minions need to replace it so he does not kill everyone. Poor, poor guy. No wonder he's so, like, paranoid and suspicious. Hmm. Uh, so, British historian, uh, donates three bucks, the British historian. And they say, Tom and Ben, thank you for another lovely stream. But thank you more for a Middle Earth strategy battle game teaser this week. Ooh. Is it because I've been a good gobbo painter this year? Yeah. Better not chance it. Here are all the models I painted in February. Whoa. A little link, and you can have a little link. And there's. Wait a second. <gasps> Those in Invisi boys aren't painted. Uh, but the bases are done. Bases are done, that's Amazing. true. They are finished. These counters painted right? I 100% yeah, these you're count, and they look awesome. Actually. And you have uh, some riders and some Lake Townians. Lake I know those, like an Easterling? Yeah, Easterling And a uh, different kind of Easterling? And some Ghost Boys. Spooky Ghost Boys. Wow, that's like a good, mm. that's a good amount painted. In a month? Yeah, geez. Like, Put me to shame, pretty yeah, moly. it takes a lot, a lot longer. I finished like one model this month. Oh. And that was for a video. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, fuck you, repent! That's why he's just... Yeah, we just have to kill. Oh, Get out of here. Wow. Oof. All their, all their archers died. And all their swordsmen ran away. <laughs> Not sure okay. what happened there. Oh, luckily the Blotos lived. Valiant, some elves. Uh, everyone's busy. Right, Quintex ritual has begun. Okay. And it's skate. Oh no, it's chaos. Ooh, Famir. Famir. Yeah, it's like the Norse. No. Okay. Okay. Do you want to just sit and wait for them? Yeah. Cool. I'll put um, Chandovo in ambush. Oh. Oh no, he's taking the Trish. No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, cool. Uh, so, Lil Chunkier uh, did this five bucks. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And they go on to say, Ben and Tom, I'm getting married this year. Ooh. And at the wedding cake planning unprovoked, my fiance said, do you want some Warhammer ideas on the cake? Ooh. What should I include? Uh, P.S. My pre-heresy death guard need rimming ideas. Ooh. Oh, blows. Ask your fiance to rim your death guard for you. Wow. That's a whole separate thing. <laughs> uh, hmm. Oh, cool. Very cool. Oh, you do need your bases rimmed, though. You are, uh, not, you are not lying. I think I might go for a, just a black. Black is always good. Or dark brown, also good. Oh my, got loads of them done. The bases look amazing, apart from the rims. I don't yeah, know why you would show us rims done. such filth. Uh, but... You need, you need Kremlin on that cake. Why would you even ask? Mm. What else could you need? Although someone in chat did just suggest Warlord Titan carrying the cake. That's a good excuse. <laughs> I've got this, uh, this great cake stand. Mm. Uh, it'll be really good. Um, yeah, I mean, wedding stuff's always expensive. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, like slipping a Warlord Titan into your... Wedding budget. <laughs> yeah, holy shit. Yeah. <sighs> God, yeah, I'd, I'd far rather that than inviting like 20 more people or 30 more, <laughs> like whatever fucking inflated costs that quickly turns into. Yeah, yeah just, you know... No grandparents allowed. Mm, no. <laughs> well, they're not going to be around forever. They're not going to appreciate it. Whereas a wall of titan <laughs> is forever. Is for life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those things last millennia. And so I want, I'd rather that. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the cake or three chariots. Ooh. Oof. Cake. <laughs> yeah. 
Kremlo. Kremlo will bust. I think Kremlo, for sure, at a push, have a Kragnos. <laughs> Maybe those two fighting each other. <gasps> How could you pick? How could you pick sides? Should we just wait for him to siege us or lose some units? Yeah, I think. Wait a turn. Oh yeah, black rims. That's my my choice. A little chunk here. Absolutely not. Uh, Rain Mage. Nice nine bucks. Hey, Rain Mage. I say, hey, Tom and Ben. Hello. Been man. watching your stuff for a while, and I decided to get into the hobby. I played a bit of Beastman in Total War, so I decided to put together and paint a Beast Lord as my first one. Ooh. With more in the mail. Uh, nice. Thank you both for all you do. Oh, thank you, Ray Mage. I mm. hope you enjoy them. I do like beasts. Beasts are cool. Like, always, always been a fan. Who doesn't like a bit of beast? Beastie Mans. Uh, sensory Deprivation Toilet. Mm. There's Bomb and Ten. Hello. Love the show. Scale me up. Uh, I think we did get you in. They are in, yes. I think they're one of Nagash's. Oh, sad boys. Mm. These inch demons couldn't fight our real armies. Sad. Uh, Scooby Bree did these five bucks. Thanks, Scooby Bree. They say Bon and Ten. Mm. Uh, been a while since I caught you guys live. A mod I recommend is the Victory Overhaul mod. Mm -hmm. It changes up a couple of factions' victory conditions for being conquer everywhere to being more focused. Mm. Uh, jump me up as a skelly boy. I feel like, did we do one with that? We did, yeah. It did give us some more interesting victory conditions. Um, I don't know if I it think works with Kislev. this mod. Uh, let's fight this one. Okay, you want to see the Famir in action? Yeah. And it's been a while since we had a fight. But yeah, I couldn't include it with this mod because this one's already got its own special victory condition. Mm, but yeah, if right. we ever do like a regular campaign, I would absolutely put that on. What is that? War Mammoth with War Shrine on the back. Ooh, I didn't realize that was a thing. That must be new. They've got a Trunky. Trunky! <laughs> <laughs> I love a Trunky. Who's the guy in between the Trunkies? Chaos Giant. Oh. oh just Norse Giant. Norsican Giant. I think it's the same. Basically the same as the Chaos one. I.e. shit. <laughs> They're so bad. <laughs> yeah, they They're are. so bad in the game. But you have to get up to like tech level four or five to even recruit them. And yeah. They're, they're so shit. Or, yeah. And are they the one where it's like just at the top of the tree? So you have to have like a level five building mm -hmm. that only builds a giant. Yeah. And, and they've you, been consistently fucking garbage. And you just like, I wish I just had a unit of tier two Chaos Warriors instead. Uh, ooh, lose magic. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> it came with a Norska DLC. Really? Was it in no, the base DLC? It wasn't at launch. They might have patched it in after an update. Because we wasn't played it at launch. At, we played it at launch and it wasn't there. Is someone about to get fucking banned? <laughs> Is someone about to get Chaos Hammoth with War Shrine? Uh, Total War Wiki will probably be on there. I absolutely do not remember that being in the game. With the Norska DLC? I think they patched it in, surely. Can't have been on launch. Like I don't like remember it. When added. Don't have to ban himself. I don't have to ban myself. I can... What do I have to ban myself? Maybe. Is there no way of like knowing when things were added? Hmm. I don't know. I swear it wasn't in there, but maybe. Maybe it's just like tier five and we never got that far oh yeah because we did fuck those things up was Norska added in one uh ooh it was in one 
unlocked after Altar of the Blood Falls. I'm pretty sure it must have been in there. Mm -hmm. Six years ago. What the hell? What the hell? I have no memory of, of this at all. No, but is there like a, a history in here? Uh, no. It's not a super updated wiki. Huh. Oh. Huh. Huh. No way of knowing for sure. Because they could have added it with the patch, so all this would be the same, wouldn't it? But it does seem like it might have been in launch. Oh. Huh. Huh. I don't know my army when they did the Norse campaign. Really? Did you? <laughs> really? But they think I had one. Are you sure? It's in the trailer. Mm. Oh my god, okay. Okay, well. If it's in the trailer. We're banned then. Fuck. Where we both banned. I don't I don't think I got in on this. Uh Okay, we got we got some big Norse boys, but we've got Nagash. Should we just like walk Nagash out? Could Through Nagash the solo them? Oh, he's a cold boy. Oh, he's very cold. God, he looks like he's just so sniffly. <laughs> yeah. like half the fucking office at the moment. Uh, my reinforcements are coming on directly behind them. Oh. That's, um... Fun. Chandovo. Uh, yeah. Oh, what are they looking for? From here? Oh, the there. war shrine. Wow. Oh! Big old portal. It's like wearing a fucking shark on his head. Was it a wolf? Polar bear. But it's got horns? It's horns. Mm. All right. He's just really fucking going for it. <laughs> well, you would, wouldn't you? It's got a fucking portal to hell six inches. Directly in. behind him. Yeah, I imagine it's pretty hot. <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh, it burns! <laughs> Uh, okay, well, what the hell are we doing? We're going to have giant war. Oh, our giants have bows. Oh. We've got two of them. Oh, if we could have had them like, right on the edge, it feels like mm. we've done a total like Dark Souls. Oh, silver arrows on fucking Anor Londo. God, I hate those guys. I started playing, um, I did a new Dark Souls 1 run, which I haven't done for five years. Really? Um... I had a real urge to play it. How's it going? Um, pretty good, actually. Um, so I, because I, like, I guess because I played Elden Ring not that long ago, I was like back in the zone immediately, and I like aced the first couple of bosses, beat um, Quayleg first time. Wow, that's good. Um, but then I just got like absolutely stuck. It took me like 20 goes to kill the Iron Golem, which I, just, I got to the Iron Golem in like, an hour or two, I'd like fucking speed run it. And then I just couldn't fucking kill him. He kept, every time he hit me, he'd like kick me off the edge. Oh, uh, okay. Like if you get <laughs> unlucky, yeah, like he will just fucking blast you. Um, kept getting knocked off the edge and I was like losing my mind about how like oh, shit. one of the easier bosses just kept kicking my ass. Oh fuck, um, oh, poor boy. But so anyway, I did get past him, and then I did Austin and Smau on like my third go. Really? I, like, oh, like shocked at. I thought that was going to be like a twenty goer. Like Austin and Smau and Quaylag significantly harder grand scheme of things than the Iron Golem, who's kind of just a goofy boy. <laughs> yeah, he's really slow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. oh no, I'm falling. <laughs> uh, oh. But yeah, if you're just getting like accidentally plinked. Just knocked off the edge. I guess I didn't have enough like poise or whatever. Just got thrown back miles. Um, and then, oh, well, then I did Sif. Um, oh, sweet, sweet Sif. But um, man, I'm just um, Zweihander all the way. Amazing. So good. I didn't realize like how good the two-handed Zweihander is in that game. Oh like, my god. Almost everything you hit gets staggered on a heavy attack. Um, makes life so much easier. Um, but then after Sith, I like, I went to a blacksmith, and they were like, "Oh, do you want to turn your Zweihander into the Great Sword of Artorias?" And I was like, "That sounds amazing! Yes, Ooh. of course I do." And then it went, "Okay, sure. This can't be undone. And now your plus ten Zweihander is a weapon you can't use because <laughs> it turns out the uh, Great Sword of Artorias requires twenty-four strength, 
18 dexterity, 18 intelligence, and 18 faith to wield. Fuck! That's a big feels bad, man. <laughs> yeah. So it's just like, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> Oof, that fucking super sucks. Oh, God. Oh. Gross. Yeah. Um, but my uh, my boy's watching me play a lot of it, and he was like, that, that sword sounds amazing. You've got to do it. You've got to level up and get all those stats. I was like, okay. Oh, so you can. Okay. So now you can blame him. Um, so we're, we're committing to it. Oh, uh, okay. Go, That's kind of fun. We're going to get those stats to see how it goes. Um, and I've had to turn a. I've got a great sword that I've now upgraded to plus ten. But it's it's not as good as the spy hand, man. Oh. Uh, there's a lot of enemies that doesn't quite stagger when you hit them with it. Oh. And you know how the spy hand, it's got this big overhead smash yeah, on the heavy attack, and then oh. if you heavy attack again, it he like flips into a second quick heavy attack, and it knocks most enemies on their ass, and then finishes them off with the second heavy hit. Fuck, just a um, pure. But the the great sword is a is like a poke. And then if you second attack a heavy time, it's another big wind-up poke. It doesn't, oh, like, combo into two hits. Shit, which is not... Really feels like an inferior weapon. Hmm. Jeez, I feels, feels for you. That's right, we're still having fun. But could be having more fun. Uh, and um, he doesn't want me to... We got all the way down to... Oh, the other boss I got really stuck on, and it took me, like, 20 goes, was the... Um, the demon ruins, um, hell, fire demon man. The one who's like the asylum demon, but made of fire. Oh, the what, stray demon? The wandering demon? Yeah, one of those. Wandering demon? What I can't remember. The, the sage fire, demon fire sage. That's yes, it. that's the one. Because he keeps doing this just Oh, the big AOE. AOE. Mm. And sometimes he's like, I'm going to do this five times in a row. And you, I couldn't work out when you were meant to dodge and that all the time. Yeah, and when that happens, you're just like, oh, if I'm close. I, I guess I'll die. I just lose half my health. I guess I'll just oh. fucking be dead. So yeah, got really stuck on him until I um, thought about it for five minutes. Took, stopped just throwing my face into it mm -hmm. and realized um, I've got the crest shield. I can just like block 90% of the damage. Oh. The AOE with the shield. And then, then I just got it first time once I figured that oh, out. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> well, very, very well done. Um, yeah, sometimes you actually change strategy. It really helps. <laughs> yeah, just mixing things up a tiny little bit. Uh, um, but then I mentioned to him that once we got into the demon city, once we unlock the um, the the route back, that we have to fight and kill uh, Soler because he go crazy. Uh, and then my boy was like, "No, you have to find a way to not kill Soler." There is a way, right? There is a way. You have to kind of glitch your way through a door to like kill the monster. Oh, before. you kill the the fucking the little head bug yeah. before before he finds it, and then he doesn't. You don't have to kill Slayer. So now we have to like I've had to abort my run into Demon City because <laughs> I didn't want to look up on the wiki how to do that. I wanted to just play the game. So we were like, okay, fine, we'll go do the catacombs, and I'll figure out how to do that later. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, so there's a new challenge mode for you. You get a nine-year-old to tell you how to play Dark Souls. <laughs> and, uh, see what happens. <laughs> Honestly, their strats can't be that much worse than just how I play it, which is like, the I want the biggest club. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm going to play the game like this. <laughs> yeah. This is my play. So now I, I have to wear Havel's armor and level up all my stats to use Artorius' great sword, and I can't kill Solaire. It's fun. It mixes it I up. Like the, I like the challenge mode. That's mm. pretty good. Uh, the Havel's armor's quite fun. Yeah, man, I really, really like Havel's. I've never used it before. I like it. Uh, what is going on? Is it the Trunky? Oh, he's knocking on the door. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's me. Chaos Trunky. Oh, they're climbing the walls. I need to look up all the NPC things, though, because I haven't seen um, uh, Siegfried or Sigmeyer, whatever his name is, from uh, The Onion Knight. Oh, yeah. Since Sen's Fortress. So I need to look up where you need to meet up with him. Oh. Quest line. So I saw, like, a, a fun video 
which was uh, it was like someone playing Dark Souls the way it's supposed to be played was like the the title. Okay, sure. But it was basically like they had made an exact order where you can play through the game oh, with minimum every... backtracking, where you do every single side quest right. and you go to every area with the, the least amount of returning Okay, the back efficient and route to complete all NPCs. Uh, like that, and uh, collecting like all the key items and fighting every single boss. And... Okay. Yeah, because I forgot about the, the large ember. So oh. I, so I went to do all steam and smell and had um, got all the way to the end just before I fought them. I was like, I've still only got a plus five sword. I was like, what, what isn't they, aren't you meant to be able to get to plus 10 by now? And I had to look it up in the wiki before I went to fight them. I was like, oh yeah, because I skipped the depths. Oh, and, okay. And that's where the, the, the plus 10 ember is. And I was like, fuck. But I think I have to do loads of stuff like that. Like I, um, after I finished Austin Smell, I just started going off to Demon Ruins and I forgot to actually place the Lord Vessel. Oh shit! And so I got to the big orange oh, door, God. and I was like, "What? Why can't why why can't I get through oh, this door?" Fuck! And does that mean that you don't have teleport? You can teleport. Okay. Um, but you, I hadn't got to the bit that you. Um, uh, you have to go through that orange gate to open up the um, the shortcut back to Quelex. Right. So I had to go all the way back and like, oh, place the Lord Vessel. Fuck. And then even when I teleported back to Quelex Domain, I still had to... No, I couldn't even do that because I had, I'd forgotten to knock down the invisible wall in Quelex to open the, the shrine there. And that's the one you teleport to. Oh, shit. So because I hadn't done that, I'd just done the, the bonfire <laughs> down by the Endless Discharge. I had to go through fucking Blight Town again. Which I was, I, I, in my head, I've been like, I never have to do Blight Town again. Yeah. But no, I fucking did because I had to go back and place the Lord Vessel and then walk, walk all the way back <laughs> oh, down. Oh, fucking hell. And I was like, oh, damn my fucking 80% patchy memory of yeah. fucking Dark Souls. Like, I'm doing this really efficiently. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, I'm not. Because <laughs> in my head, I was like, yeah, no, one of these, I can just teleport back to one of these fucking bonfires. Nope, it's the one I didn't do. Oh, jeez. I feels feels for you feels very much for you friend that's fun though i've been still having fun because it's been long enough that it's still fun yeah i've been kind of like thinking about playing some again although since seeing the elden ring trailer mm. was like actually i might just uh <laughs> just do another run of elden ring um what's the deal with the dlc is it do you have to do a new run to do it? Is it a new game plus thing? Is it like at a certain point in the game? Honestly, I don't fully know. I'm guessing it's probably like a new game plus, like an add-on. It's after Moog, so is it? But then, so is it going to be like a? You have to beat Radan and Moog. Oh, okay. Oh, so you don't actually want to play too far. Do you know what the like vague level scaling is? Yeah, because if you're going to play, start playing it now in prep, you don't want to like overshoot. Yeah, like I want to be at like a fairly sensible level for it. I think they said it only has secure leveling systems, so no matter where you come in, it's balanced still. Okay. Mm. It has its own weird scaling. Okay, well, to be honest, I'd kind of rather be at like a slightly lower level. Yeah, you don't want to walk it through it with a power build by accident. Yeah, and it just means that like as you can play it and level up and kind of adapt a little bit when you find some stuff rather than being like, I'm already committed to a build. Mm. Oh, shit. Oh, so you don't even have to do that much. Well, that means you can just go and do like the Weeping Peninsula and like another area or two and just have, have some fun. It's more about making a fun build you want to play. Oh, that sounds amazing. Okay, well, I might like hold out a little bit then. Because it's still four or five months away. But I'm very excited now. Mm, does look cool. I very much want to play it. Uh, is it worth? Uh, God, I'm running. I think that is. Excuse me. Um, turn on a big, big Dark Souls rant. Um, where did we get to? Numi, thank you, Numi. You say, have you ever had those weeks where you're so busy you can't get any hobbying done? 
Well, I have an exam on global governance tomorrow morning, and I spent all afternoon painting lizards. Ooh. When is the last time you got some forbidden hobbying in? <laughs> um... Oh, well, not for a while. No. But no, I feel like I... I don't tend to have too many things that are as super time critical. Mm. Oh my god, like that damage is pretty legit. Uh, but in turn, I cannot sit and enjoy painting if I know I've got to get some stuff done. Yeah, I'm the same. I just feel bad. I have a friend of mine who um, does, every time he's in a meeting when he's working from home, uh, he just turns his camera off and paints through the whole thing. He Legit. Does a, he does a lot of meetings. <laughs> okay, I kind of kind of rate that. There's a lot of forbidden hobbying, but it makes sense because you can just listen to what everyone says, and you know, as long as you're not the one taking notes. Yeah, just hang on out. Oh my god, like my guess is kind of doing pretty fucking good. He's got his banish free banishment spells as well. If you want to really get them while they're blobbed up. It was banishment. Uh, it's one. a bit like a purple sun. It doesn't cost any mana. Cast it on yourself. Wow, I feel like it just fucking murdered my snakes. <laughs> that dealt almost zero damage. How much damage does that do? Hundred loads. Moderate damage. Huge random thing. Sure. Uh, sure. Be slower. Um, the Happy Wiener has donated. Thank you, Happy Wiener. Uh, bon Bon and Temtem. Long time vodka, very first time dono. Please check my cool space mecha dragon. Since you talked about them being annoying to paint a while back. Oh, was it annoying to paint? Yeah. Can you confirm? Tell us your experience. Would you want to paint several more? Very neat. Oh, it looks great. Love it. Love the smashed up rhino on the base. It's fun. Because the Zinch Mecha Dragon is also oh, no. very... Yeah, it works well. Jack Starooney, thank you for donating. You say, hello, chaps. Tom, I own a box set of Dusk City... Oh, no, we've read that one. But thank you very much. Uh, just the View, thank you. You say, Bonulus Ben and Tomulus 10. Are you guys ever interested in doing some Horus Heresy on Games Night? If so, what factions would you do and why? Some fun hobby news. I've been making some custodies themed around the Crucible Knights in Elden Ring. Ooh, Ooh yes. Yeah, I'd love to see some Crucible Knight miniatures. They look great. That sounds like a good mix for custodies. They've got some yeah. vibes. Uh, uh, but yeah, I've got a Horus Heresy army. I've got Dark Angels. Pow! Hit oh, God. Bolts. Killed a bunch of, bunch of ghosts. Um, I don't know how great Horus Heresy would be for Games Night. Um... I feel like you should probably have someone other than me in it to take it more seriously. That's true. It's just, I don't know, it's not a very easy, there's not a lot of like character to it, you know? Um, but Ben, some of them are red! <laughs> I think you'd have to do, you'd have to have Primarchs, and you'd have to have like, like a cool scenario you've thought up to make it fun. Yeah. Um, you could do, I think the Burning of Prospero would be, a, if you had a really cool, like, pyramid temple board with Space Wolves and Thousand Suns, and you have some wacky, like, psychic powers that are just for that scenario, and you have some, like, this is the maze of mirrors, where there's a million portals, each one, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, okay. I sort can... of make it a bit goofier. My mirror maze! <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I can, can kind of get into that, that kind of vibe. Maybe it's a bit like that Pokemon gym, you know, where you've got to like... Oh, God, yeah, like 
warp back and forwards. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know, because I, I feel like at least that's like a, you know, the Space Wolves have got an objective to like burn down the library, the Thousand Suns can like do some goofy spells that might backfire and kill themselves. Yeah. That feels a bit more interesting than just like lining up and fighting each other. Yeah, just, uh, well, just different colored space marines plinking each other with their three up armor saves. Mm. Not the most exciting. Oh, where did my scorpion go? Up there. Or you do it in epic scale, and then you can have proper like titans and. Oh, prime that, that would be amazing! Scale. Like epic scale would be legit. Because then it could be a bit more fun. Because tiny toys are better toys. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows that. And then you get the scale of it right, you know, because the Horus Heresy meant to be about like hundreds and thousands of space marines smashing. Into each yeah, all in one go. Uh, you can have drop pods and landing craft and titans and all the cool stuff. Ben, are we learning what's in the box tomorrow? We are! Yes, box reveal tomorrow. Um, there's a fun like Games Night hobby video coming out tomorrow where we're going to build and paint some models. Definitely check that one out. And then there'll be a battle report hopefully a week, a week later. I did delay things a little bit, but not by much. What's in the box? Is it a head? I don't know. What else? What are the, like... You could do, like, a war in the webway scenario. That might work for games tonight. Where you've got, like, one player's custodies, one player's sisters, and you've got, like, an endless swarm of demons pouring out, and you've got to, like, fight your way through it. A bit like the Gotrek thing we did. Yeah. Kind of Arkhan land there. He was there. Great. He's got a monkey. It's all my favorite parts <laughs> of the thing I kind of like the least in <laughs> Warhammer. <laughs> Star Wars theme games night. We've already done a Star Wars one. It's the first one we did. We did Mandalorian has to save the baby Grogu's. Oh, it's a good one. Not too many losses. Now for everyone guessing, Wall of Titan. It's not a Titan. I don't think the box is big enough for a Titan. No. No. You're wrong. Like the Jabba's Barge idea with the Shatterpoint. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Yeah. The Ewoks are out now. <gasps> Ooh. Someone mentioned something to me the other day that kind of blew my mind. Oh, shit, did you die? In, oh, no. in Return of the Jedi, that no one ever calls them Ewoks. The word Ewok is never said in a Star Wars movie. How do we all know they're called Ewoks when it's not in the film? Uh, probably printed on the packets of the toys, mm. and then Zeitgeist. Just absorbed it. There's not many other things that like have gone that big on like public sort of consciousness that you, everyone knows what something's. Almost everyone, even like people who don't know much about Star Wars, would probably be, a, be able to point at what. If you said which one of these is an Ewok, they'd probably yeah. guess it right. And considering it's never said in the film, that's kind of that is pretty crazy. wacky. Have we ever played Conflict 47? Yes, we have. We've got two. Well, one, really. There's a bolt action video that has co conflict units in it. It's the Indiana Jones one. Oh, the magic trunky escaped. Oh. Uh, sweet. Very cool. Oh, we lost the new snacks that we forgot to name because we just bought them. Oh, because they attacked before we could name them. Uh, how did everyone else do? Best giant was Dresden. Much better than Final Boss Jelly. Best Morgeist was Chomp Creon. How were these guys? Are they any good? It's their first outing. Seemed pretty good up to them, so I paid barely no attention to them. Uh, Fair enough. Was instead just kind of casting spells with Nagesh. Half Blood was the best choppy boy. Pretty killy. Um, most people just didn't even turn up. No. Wow. Okay, well, we'll take a heal. We'll have to finish him off. Replenish. Hmm. God, there's too many messages every turn. Yeah. Oh, turned over. Right, let's finish this dwarf off. What happened to... Yeah, just auto. 
Sad, sad times for those boys. Just a few if boys. You're, if you're lucky. Who do we lose? Man with no name, Rip Arino, but FKP for the win. Survived. Very lucky. Clearly the better oh. Skellington. Ghoul. Oh no, Dreitcher and Brute Force. You done Feels it. bad, man. Feels bad. But Andrija survived. The dogs returned. Ooh, doggos. Very good. Happy dogs. Hot dog. And that's the end of Thoric Ironbrow. Thank God. Huzzah! That's what you get for declaring war on us like three times. <laughs> Our patience <laughs> ran out. Yeah, we will finally kill you. If you make us kill you, we will kill you. Um, what does Fraggle Rooker even want to replace ghouls with? Like Nikaharan warriors, I guess? Um, and then Manfred. Can get some too. Uh, uh Cardinal Catastrophe! Uh, then it's five bucks. See you, Cardinal. Thank you. They say, I love June, but you guys are absolutely right. It's not really a fun sci fi setting, is it? No one writes self insert fan fiction about getting their hands stuck in the pain box or getting sexually harassed by the floating baron guy. I read that as floating balloon guy. <laughs> floating balloon guy. <laughs> oh, I mean, it, I, it's a cool sci fi setting. I like the setting more than I like the story. But you're right. No one's writing <laughs> goofy fan fiction about that. Yeah. Although, you know, his son is. Wow. 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 What a read. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know. I've never, I've only read the first book, but I've heard a lot of people say, I love June. I hate all the ones that his son wrote. I don't, I don't know. Just, uh, just what other people have said. Hey, I've not read, read, read that either. Uh, Greg Manass. I think it's a hundred bucks. Holy moly, Greg Manass. What? Uh, very kind. And uh, they say, As Ben was not satisfied with my dodo last week, I return. Also, definitely didn't mistakenly use my IRL name for my dodo, and definitely didn't get made fun of IRL <laughs> when you named a big titty vampire after me. Chromo <laughs> came and his big titty vampire GF kisses. <laughs> Wow. Should we draw some more attention to that? Oh my god, yeah. Where are you? Uh, there. There you are, Krell. Greg Manass. Oh, <laughs> big titty vampire. Wow, you've been wearing like extra revealing armor. Don't forget, if you know Greg Manass in uh, IRL. Uh, he asked for this. They were like, <laughs> I want the one with the, the, big, the big vampire titties. Yeah, and the exposed thighs. Oh no, on YouTube. Is our audio cutting out? Uh oh. oh no. It's a bad thing. Sad times. Just speak even louder to have more cutting. Uh, oh, Greg Vanessa, thank you very much. Uh, very kind. It's amazing. Thank you so and, much. Um, I'm so sorry. We've treated you so poorly. Uh, but if you insist that you're the magic, magic titty vampire, who are we to argue? We can't. We literally can't. Uh, tasty taco! Uh, to the next three bucks, any tasty taco. Thank you. And they say, hi lads. So when is the Mystery Quest members special fatal no. episode coming out? Wow, never. Maybe a one-on-one -on -one Tom and Ben role-playing session. You could make use of some of the horny Kickstarter minis you've <laughs> unintentionally clicked on before. Oh, no, accidentally another one's been sent to my oh, house. Oh, no, more horny ones. <laughs> like, oh, no, I accidentally entered in my credit card <laughs> details. Oh, no, not that one. Uh, you see, I think with the right group of people, you could play that. Yeah, but I would never, phone ever phone. record it, and I would <laughs> never put it out online. <laughs> that one's just for you. That one's just for me. Uh, but I, like, I remember like reading up someone who said that they, they were like, our friends group, we play a load of role-playing games. Mm -hmm. They played Fatal as a joke, and 
their message at the end was the, just like, don't. Don't do it. It may sound funny. Don't do it. The game <laughs> is so horrifically bad. And also, it deals with terrible subjects and the... But mechanically, it is awful. I was oh, a really? nightmare to play, an absolute just like slog because they were trying to play it properly. And it's just like, don't. It's not worth it. What seemed like a funny joke wore thin very it quickly. Just instantly fell apart, and it was hours of their life wasted. So, wow. I think it probably isn't isn't going to happen. Fair. Or who knows? We could be playing it every week, and we just don't talk about it. Yeah, we don't play it. No. Oh, gross. Gross! No! Oh, oh no. Now I want to play it even more. See, that's the problem. When someone is like, definitely don't do it. Don't play it. Read my, heed my words. It's not worth it. And you're like, well, it can't be that bad, surely. And then you go in and you're like, oh, no. If only we had have known the hubris. But we knew better. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's not it's not gonna be coming anytime soon. That's what she said. Uh, Liam J Rock uh, donates six bucks. Thank you very much, Thank Liam. You. And they say, working on some of the characters for my Warriors of Chaos Old World army while listening to you guys. Would love to know your thoughts on the progress. Ooh. And the Ben and Tom that is among them. Uh, oh, my oh God. Is classic a warriors. I love all the old uh, Chaos Champions. They're yeah, great. they're super good. Which one's the Ben and Tom? This guy. Oh, the two-headed. One's got a little touching tentacle, and the oh. other's got a little hammery oh. act. The cultisty wizard guy is such a fucking good model. I've used him in um, like a redemptionist Necromunda gang before. Like right. really, really rate that. Like Bugulon at the back. Yeah. And a uh, guy with big like Greek crest. He's cool too. They're all so good. Love it. Oh, man, I'd love to have like a classic. Classic Chaos Warrior army. Oh, yeah. God, it cost a fortune to get, like, you'd need, like, 50 of those old metal models to, like, make up bulk out the regiments. The champions would be cool, but sourcing enough of the old metal infantry to not have them, like, repeat too often. Yeah. Might be a bit of a nightmare. Well, I think I, I worked out a Chaos Warrior army, mm -hmm. uh, which was about, I think it was a 2,000 point army. And it was a unit of 20 Chaos Warriors. Mm. Very expensive. Mm -hmm. A unit of 10 Chaos Knights. Maybe they were chosen with a level 4 wizard in the front. A Chaos Lord on a dragon. Right. And I think it was like two units of hounds. And oh, wow. It was like, boom. Got, got those points right out of there. Just spend those points. ASVP. Nice. It's like, this seems pretty pretty easy to do. Maybe there was two chariots. I can't remember. It was looking at... I was going to say chariots are a good way of spending a lot of points without um, you know, having many models. Because I, th I think it was basically looking at the... Uh, it was the like the Slaves to Darkness um, army. That box the, that comes with... Oh, yeah. The five knights, ten warriors, and the man on Croco Friend. Uh, no, there's one which is like five knights. Oh, and then like ten chosen. It's ten chosen or ten warriors, a chariot, and then just like a lord guy. Yeah, there's um, there's two boxes for some reason. The, this is this the one, one you mean, yeah. So it was basically two boxes of this, mm -hmm. and then you get a box of dogs. Mm -hmm. and they didn't sell the dogs anymore. But I would use the vampire ones. The vampire, the undead dire hounds, dire wolves. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you just need to find a, a dragon lord. Dragon lord. Wow. Okay, well, that's that's a pretty cheap army. I was like, that seems models. like a really a, a efficient and easy way to just have a whole, whole load, of, load of stuff. Nice. Yeah, I got the other one of these. And... Uh, 
can't quite make 2,000 points with it. But even if we were to play like a thousand points, I feel like that arm, yeah, that box, pretty, get a character or two, and you plus much there. a box of dogs, and I imagine it very quickly comes to a thousand points. Yeah, just like a squad of ten chaos warriors, five knights are pretty expensive. Mm. That's what you want, though. You want chaos warriors to be like, yeah, away. like super, super elite. Uh, Cassius, it's thirty-seven dollars. Thank you very much, Cassius. Ooh, thank you. Uh, and they say, Modern Neb. I'm loving the content. My girlfriend and I are having a cultural exchange, and she really digs painting space rings. Mm. She hasn't decided if she'll stick with them yet or pick a different army. Uh, what were your first armies when you started? Ooh. Like. I think like the very first thing I painted or like started building was like a packet of those multi-part Chaos Space Marines mm -hmm. when you had like five guys in a little a little box but like didn't really do an army for a long time like kind of just had some yeah. like when you're a kid having enough focus to get a whole army done is yeah, and thing, right? was sort of just like some boxes and bits, and like ha like got some Skaven, because uh, mm -hmm. I thought Skaven were cool. And my fir the first time I went into a games workshop, I asked for I saw this white dwarf which showed off the brand new Tyranid models, and um, I didn't understand. Because they had this this article. It had a little page on every unit in the army explaining them all. And I saw these guys and I was like, these guys look awesome. I want some Tyranid mind slaves. Not realizing that these are Chaos Space Marines <laughs> that have got like Tyranid worms in their brains. Right, and okay. Do what they're told. So I was just like, in the, I was like, I don't know, nine or ten or what, however old I was, just going, I want the Tyranid mind slaves. And they were like, well, that anything can be a Tyranid mind slave. Like, it's any unit that's been mind slaved. And they were like, I, I want the ones, the ones <laughs> I've seen. Oh, shit. <laughs> and uh, we, didn't, we couldn't come to an understanding <laughs> on that. Fuck. So I, never, I never got them. Uh, so the first one, I bought the, the RTB1 box. Um, RTB01 DK box. It was my first minis that I painted. Um, I've got like a squad of these boys, wow. and um, man, they 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 haven't aged well. They're weird they're proportions all, and poses. They're all they all look like they're taking a dump. They're all kind of squatting, which is a bit weird. Uh, but I painted them blood angels, but blood angels back then were orange. Yeah, which was the style at the time. It was the style. Where are you talking about? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh. And then I repainted them Dark Angels because I found out that they were cooler. Dark Angels, much cooler. And um, yeah, I don't know. I, I still, I was just kind of just rolling dice and throwing toys at things, so it wasn't really a proper army. Yeah, exactly. Um, and back then they didn't even have proper army lists. Like it was Rogue Trader, so oh shit, kind of do whatever. And you just kind of dance around and you just buy a couple of models from one thing and then a couple of models from something else. Yeah, exactly, yeah. like that. Oh. And they're back again. Oh, they've got the Green Knight this time. Wow, very cool. Decisive defeat, though. Shit. Oh, look at all these questing knights. Oof, God, they actually made it through. Okay, well, we're going to need to get some shit over here pretty quickly. Uh, Timby! Uh, it's 37 bucks as well. Thank you very much, wow, Timby. Wow, thank you, Timby. They say, Tom and Ben, first time crawling out of the Garbo pile to catch you live. Mm. Got a friend Stag. Uh, got a friend Stag. The plan is to play some 40k. It's in May, but I've only just started on my Dark Angels army. Mm -hmm. Any advice on how to get models painted up quickly? Kremlo is my plus one. Mm. Just do the, the spray them black ones. The bended. Spray them black. <laughs> That's all I did. They just <laughs> they just black. Spray them black. 
You like you put a red stripe on them and paint uh, the barrel of their bolt gun silver, and they're basically done. I and mean, it really helps to have like trim or studs or some kind of detail to paint something, silver. Something to flesh it out. Um, but I guess if you just spray them um, black, give them a bit of a grey dry brush, and then well, give them a wash. I mean, that's because it's a heresy army. If you want to do forty k dark angels, they should be green. But you could do one of the successors. You could do like. What are they called? They've got there's a million Dark Angel successes and half of them are black. Um, Angels of Vengeance. There you go. They're pretty easy. Red stripe, red gun. Silver Eagle. I won't take very long at all. Just literally spray them black, dry brush them grey, give them a black wash. The consecrators. Don't even have to do the eagle there. Nice, even faster. <laughs> um, or if you hate yourself, <laughs> you can do the angels of redemption. Do them. <laughs> they sound much cooler. Yuck. Uh, there you go. Angels of absolution. Let's go all cream. Bone boys. Or, you know, just do regular dark angels and spray them with dark green spray paint. And you're halfway Pretty there. Good. Give them a wash. Well, so surely you can really like just inflate your points with take a special character. Surely quite expensive. Take Lionel Johnson. Take Lionel <laughs> Johnson. It's like three or four hundred points, right? Great. Jobs are good. One. That's one model to paint. Easy. And cheap as well. I think he's probably the best points to pounds ratio there is out there, right? Or he starts with classic green Dark Angels. <laughs> it's just all the green and the green edge highlighting that's taking ages. Oh. If you're painting them properly with your green edge highlighting, it's just a such a time-consuming process. Yeah, that will take a while. Uh, edge highlighting is slow. Find a, a good podcast or something that you're really into or get into some audio books. Mm -hmm. I find that helps. If you've got something that you actively really want to listen to, yeah, that, that will encourage me to do more painting. Absolutely. So I'm like, oh, I just, I just want the next episode or the next mm. part of this. Uh, and then you will sit down and get a bit more done. Mm -hmm. But it can be, can be hard. I'm using the stream as my paint podcast. Hey. Well, thank you very much. I hope you're having fun. By Horus Heresy Marines for no trim. That's a very good. Mm. Yeah, Mark Sixes. They um. They do paint quicker. True. Uh, uh, FKP for the win. Donates nine bucks, and they say, Uxor Tom and Hetzman Ben. Mm. Beep. What is that? Beep. What is Uxor? What is Hetman? Hetman, I recognize that. I think that's a Horus Heresy thing. Oh, I was thinking it was like a Battletech. Hetman. Oh, yeah, it's uh, the Geno 5-2 Chiliad. What? You've read this book, Tom. This is the Alpha Legion book. Oh! There's a bunch of human characters who are from these weird re like regiments from before the Great Crusade. Oh. It's like one of the ranks. I think it's like the captain. Um, yeah, the three human ca characters are all Hetmans. Of course, you remember now. It doesn't come back so to the, you. They're, cause they're the guys, which means that the Alpha Legion can walk around and everyone's like, oh, you're not a space marine. You're one of these like big, big boys, right? Is that the, uh, who they are? Uh, I don't think so. Isn't that what the whole... Yeah, no, they are big, tough, muscular men. Yeah, so they could like sneak around as pretending to be. Because otherwise, guy. suddenly being like, "I'm going to take off my armor and go undercover, brothers." You're fucking like so much taller than everyone else. But wasn't that the idea that they kind of like pretended oh. to be? The senior ranks are not gene bred and would appear slim or even weak looking compared to their men. The Uxors are slim, small women. Their juniors being teenage girls. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, no, they called you that. Oh. That's fine. I'm the hetman. I'm the big boy. You're the big boy, <laughs> and I'm the, the slim, uh, slim teenage girl. Teenage girl. 
Oh, the centaurs. What? <laughs> no, it's the name of the Oh, thing. okay. <laughs> Uh, the I'm just good at. I swear that that was like a part of the fucking book where the bigger boys, they've got the big muscle men, and the guy, the Alpha Legion, is like, I'm one of those, and everyone's like, sure. I can't. Remember. I've not read it for twenty years. Um, so yeah. I couldn't tell you. Also, I didn't super enjoy it. No, I didn't think it was very good. And it, a lot of people said that it was really it good. It wasn't really about the Alpha Legion. No. Until the last 10 pages. And then it was like, here's fucking a, an Eldar tricks them <laughs> into being evil. <laughs> Which felt kind of shit, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't rate it. Why did the Alpha Legion turn traitor? Because uh, an elf lied to them. Oh. Uh. He's like, I saw into the future, and I saw that if the Emperor wins, everything will be shit, and if Horus wins, then it's better for everyone. And Alpharius was just like, sounds good. Sure. Sure. I'll do that then. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what my goals are, so... <laughs> yeah. fuck. If I don't know what I'm doing, no one else will know <laughs> what I'm doing either. Did they lie, though? That did come true. Well, they Only because they made it come true. If they hadn't meddled, then it wouldn't have happened. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, we're sending these guys. Right, so Fraggle Rorka and Manfred are here to stop. The Bretonians. Okay. They're in position now, finally. Um, Chandovo and Nagash are here to retake Castle Drakenhof to start the ritual, but it does mean declaring war of the em Empire and fighting Alric Toddbringer. Ever vigilant. Second Alric cousin Todbringer. of Toddy. I don't think Toddy gives a shit about a Sigmarite priest. Who dares use his name. Like, he's all about Ulrich, so fuck it. Like yeah. some, he's a distant plab cousin. He's got both his fucking eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly a coward. Clearly a coward. <laughs> Doesn't know how to play knifey <laughs> eye properly. <laughs> oh, wow. We can just, um, just fucking turn up, right? We'll have to bring up a friend with him. <laughs> This is Luther. Oh, yeah, we've got to send Luther, but Luther needs a friend. For? Let's send... Isn't Drakenhof held by dwarfs? Nope. Is it? Held by the Empire. We literally just looked at it. Doesn't That's like... Tempelhof. Oh, I'm dumb. Yeah, dwarves have it. Shit. <laughs> wow, okay. uh, no. uh, don't worry about this, Toddy. Sorry, excuse me. Going the other direction. <laughs> Well spotted. Well spotted, thank you. That was almost a real fuck up. Like, unban that person. What's the opposite of banning that we can do to someone that isn't banned? Prom promote them. Promote them? You're doing the stream next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't want to mod them. That feels like too much. VIP them. What does VIPing even do? Just makes them look like cool. Do you get anything else? Am I going to get into trouble? I'll VIP them. Or is it like when the teacher like make promotes a kid and then everyone thinks that kid's lame? Oh. But some people are like, I loved being a prefect when I was in school. <laughs> uh. Pow. Did that work? VIP. Great. Did it. Soon I'll be all power. Congratulations. I feel like if I'm going to call them wrong and then I'm wrong, they need to, you know, need to be the opposite of getting banned. Oh, maybe they can choose someone else to ban. Oh, I much prefer that. Give them the they, power. They can of ban one someone ban. else. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think I'm, I'm into that. Okay, yeah, unVIP them. I, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> okay. But you can choose someone. That, you have one ban. You can use that a you're ban. You're allowed to use. You don't have to use it right now. But you have to use it before we forget about this. Mm-hmm. Because if you wait too long and we forget that it happened... It ban count. Tom? Oh, bad call. Because I have the banning power. I can literally ban you. 
I won't have any dissent in the ranks. Take that. Ban you. I'll ban you all. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Me, coward. All right, hey. sure. Oh, God, that was a longer one. <laughs> He's gone mad with power. Oh, that sounds like, that sounds like <laughs> dissent in the ranks. He's gone. All right. God, imagine if this very small amount of power's done this to him. Imagine oh what real God. power would do. <laughs> it's a danger to chat now. No, I just need positive waves. I, for one, love our glorious overlord. Well, thank you, Ellie Wins. Very, very nice. Very reasonable of you. Glory to Tom. Tom, no, please. That sounds like you've committed some kind of treasonous act. Yep, guilty conscience. Ban the next person to speak. Oh, I'm sorry, Rogan Stump. That's what Cindy Poole chose. Oh, wow. You, you walked into that one. Oh, God. Okay, I'm not going to give you the forever ban. But you can have a, a full nine minutes. There you go. <laughs> have some weak lemon water. I will. I will have some weak lemon drink. <laughs> is this a sign that we need to end the stream? What time is it? 10 o'clock. That's late. Uh, we've got uh, some more donors to go through. And recruits, can you recruit some units? We've got so much money. I feel like we need uh, another arm. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I did the um, the upkeep reduction spell. Um, what the hell? Should I just make our new stack? Why is Thomas spoken? I didn't even get banned. Like the moment, the moment of, of madness. It's past now. We've had our fun. Uh, but, you know, I just had to have my, you know, kind of Stalinist purges for a little bit. Just thin the ranks. Uh, spiced Kiwi donates 15 bucks. Thank you very much, Ooh, Spiced Kiwi. Very, very, very kind of you. Uh, and they say a thing, but they also post a thing. I like things. Uh, they say, Terrific Tom and Brilliant Ben. Oh. I recently, for, uh, recently formed Vodgobo here mm -hmm. uh, to say hi for the first time. Hello. All your talk of Dyson, Hal, and Griffins has inspired me to make my own thing. I hope you enjoy Based. Uh, ooh, ooh. Red and blue. And they've made like their own dice as well. That's fun. Fun side project. Kibashing. The Shields of Eldenoth. Nice. A homebrew marine chapter themed around old knights. And it's the most jarring scheme I could think of. Yeah, it it's is. Pretty bright. I'm kind of into it. I do enjoy. Very nice. Oh, there's, uh... <laughs> there's a guy with a very fancy hat. <laughs> it's very fancy. And Ooh la la. Those like, sort of like knight's helms. These are cool. These are really cool. Yeah, I like them a lot. Cool. They've got a lot of flavor to them. And based. So based. Also a big fan of the green static grass felt mat. We played on many of those oh, oh, yeah. in the day. That is classic. Very good. Thank you. Uh, and Walker. Did I six bucks? Thank you, Walker. I say, hi, guys. Got the ultimate starter set after your video with Ravs. Mm. Painted me some salamanders. Really enjoying it, but the plastic is very crack-like. Started on my bases with some home version of Ben's sand. Ooh. Thanks for all the streams. Cramlow chopped up in space. Nice. Very good. Very nice. Uh, but yeah, finish painting what you've got, and then... <laughs> Did no one ever. <laughs> paint the next ones. Uh, and Gabbers. Uh, it's 30, 30 bucks. Thank you very much, Gabbers. Uh, they say, thanks for when you show the models on the stream, for I, lowly Vodgobbo. Thank you, Gabbers. Uh, we post them in the comment. And we if do. you are on the YouTube now... Yeah, if you want, you can have chat play along, and then when we post it in chat, you can click on it. You can click the link if you use YouTube mm -hmm. and see the, the chat. Get so the if chat we replay. ever are doing that, if you're a Vodgobbo, mm -hmm. probably could have said this at the beginning, but you'll know for next time. Mm -hmm. 
uh, the links will come up when we post them, and we're getting pretty good at posting them at the right sort of time. We do. We're good boys. Pretty much. Um. Right. Uh, we need one more turn for this, like, army to recruit. And we can name all of them. Nice. Um, God, there's a, we are just fighting wars on a hundred fronts right now. Oh, uh, what have we actually got left to do? We've got two... Is it just like the Lustrial one? The Lustrial one and Drakenhof. So we've got uh, Nagash is at Drakenhof, ready to strike. And we've got um, Luther and Arkan are about to teleport over to Lustria. So we are like potentially 10, 15 turns away. Okay, wow. Finishing, which is pretty cool. And we just have to not die before that happens. So, I think Not we just world, camp out the Tower of Arkan with these two lads. Mm. Um, I don't see the links in the YouTube chat. Uh, well, they're, they're there. We're posting should them. Should be. Should be there. I can see them. I can see them. Have you tried clicking? Clicking the link. Hmm. There should be. There's some. There's definitely some way that we could have fucked this one. They're from an account called Studio Access. Unless they're just like not appearing for it. Is anyone seeing them? Has anyone seen any of those links? If you're in YouTube, we've been wasting our time. Are we so. pasting these links into something that just doesn't happen? <laughs> Right. Do a no. test, test link. I'll resend the Instagram link of the... Uh, Declaring war on the dwarves. Oh, feels fucking bad, man. They're going to get the Empire, the Golden Order, Carrot Cadron, and the Ice Court to all gang up on us. Ooh. This might be a doom warning. Wait. Maybe we do this one last. Oh, yeah. You're seeing nothing. Oh, maybe they, maybe, God, have we been posting these links this whole time? Hello. P, P, Boo, Boo. Do you see any of these messages? Do you see any of these messages from Studio Access? Someone typed hello. Someone replied. Are just all links banned by the bot? You can see those, but not the links. Fuck me. We, okay, well, we've been posting the links this entire time, and they don't come through. Okay, well, scratch everything we just said. Uh, it turns out there we did find a way to fuck this up. Yeah. I guess, I'm guessing there's probably a setting that says, like, no links allowed in chat. Studio access needs mod. Oh. Uh, I assume that the studio account would have been modded? Apparently not. All right, mystery solved. We'll try and fix that for next week. Feels bad. Feels real bad. Feels real bad. But, you know, classic talk then. Saw earlier links. So we're posting them in Twitch as well, but do those not pop up? No, those don't pop up because we're uploading this to YouTube. I guess if you watched it. You can watch Twitch the VOD. Twitch VOD back with chat up. Yeah. If you want to be a VOD Goblin on Twitch, then you can see the links. That works. Ooh. We'll try and get this worked out for next week. Yeah, we'll probably just need to mod that account. It'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, right then. Uh, uh, let's name some things, and then yes. it might be time for us to get the heck out of here. Uh, we've got we've got these boys. Don't don't not forget. We've got some tomb guard. Pow! That's Gabbers. You red? More tomb guard. Oh, uh, Walker. More tomb guard. And spiced kiwi. And FKP for the win. And Liam J. Rock. And Tasty Taco. Uh, just the view. And... Jack Starooney. And 
Wenn es um Ushapti. Äh, Timby. Und Cassius. Und Numi. Numi. Perfekt. Uh, Can you get any heroes? Probably. I have not built many hero buildings because they usually don't feel super good. Uh, we can have a ghost. Oh, a confident banshee. <laughs> What's ghost called? Uh, that can be. Uh. Uh. Shit. I'm just balking this. A uh, rain mage. Rain mage. And we also got a. Um, a Morgeist. Oh, the happy wiener. Perfect. Okay. Well, I think we're in a pretty good position here. Next turn, Luther and Arcan are going to TP over to Lustria, take back the Awakening. Then after that's completed, Nagash and uh, Chandovo. So someone points out a good oh, thing. Oh. Mm-hmm. Do we know who are the dwarves at war with? Can we join someone else's war? Ah, and then the allies won't come in. And then no one else declares war on us. That's a fucking genius uh, idea. Skaven. Clan Moors. Bow to quick. Okay. Um, Offers to join war against the dwarves. Uh, give me some money. <laughs> sure. But we can just do that next turn. We can just go in straight away. But the oh. units are ready. Oh, that little backdoor shenanigan doesn't doesn't trigger the mutual defense pact. That's what they should have done in World War Two. Yeah. <laughs> just not started World War Two with the the triggering. <laughs> Were they stupid? Were they idiots? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Nagash as well. Wow, is that just the place taken? Yep. Didn't have any garrison there. Yoink. That was a good. That was a good tip. That was a great tip. Thank you very much. I was going to put this off for a while because of that. Uh, oh, we can't get. Can we now instantly just pay the dwarves for a piece? How much does that cost? Uh, what? Oh, whoops. Dwarfs. One rug. Talk then, but I make no. Oh, oh, no way! They life. fucking hate us so <laughs> hard. They are strength rank three. Ooh. They were not strength rank three before. Last time I checked, maybe they were. I just didn't notice. They got a pretty big, windy empire. Yeah. Oh well, we only have to be here for like. Uh, two turns, and then how long it takes to fight off the invaders. Red. Okay, well, that's happening. Um, I don't know if they have confederated, because there's Karak Kadron is up there. Still Maybe there, the uh, ghost, ghost dwarves joined them. Could just go snipe one of their armies in Oakenhammer. Well, no, we could probably just sit here and wait. Uh, fuck it, I think it's probably fine. Okay, well, maybe we end it here. Yeah, that seems like a good good point. My yeah. ocean. The Confederate Minor Dwarfs from Zafar. Oh, yeah, but Zafar's like, yes. usually like two, two or three territories, right? Yeah. Crazy. It's only a worry when they stupid. Confederate one of the big ones. Mm. And suddenly their empire doubles in size. Oof. Hmm. Right, save up. Does Tom know about the mod that replaces Karl Franz with World War I Germany for the next campaign? I don't know if I'm, I I'm going to play that one. <laughs> that doesn't that's, sound super Warhammer-y, does it? I don't know if that's my style. Uh, but maybe. Maybe. But I think this is a very good time for us to be wrapping it up. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh, it's late. Uh, it thank late, you actually. so much to everyone who's... Um, 
take a part and hung out and chatted and been involved. Yeah, it's been fun. Super good. Are you streaming tomorrow? I am. I'm back tomorrow. So tomorrow at lunchtime, there's going to be a new Games Night video. And then tomorrow evening at 7, I'm going to be streaming on my channel. Wow. Come check it out. It'll be lots of fun. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, until next week, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.